this episode brought to you by saying something really cool and then closing your eyes like there can be only one. The best part about this is it has really nothing to do with Highlander except for the line. And it's just what a random weirdo at UFC. Did. <laughs> <laughs> But this episode's brought to you by it, so fuck you. That's right. Hey, everybody, we are watching Highlander, and you are listening to Miscast Commentary. Yeah. Hey, everybody, welcome to Miscast Commentary. I'm Joe Finley. I'm Todd. Ooh, Tebow the Sailor Murray. And I want to comment because somebody made a comment on one of our videos uh, fairly recently where they said that they're like, you guys got to keep uh, physical media alive. He's like, stop just watching these things on the streaming. And I'm like, but my setup is over here and all my shit's over. Like, I, I, we have tons <laughs> what, of physical media. What do you media. mean by physical media? Like DVDs exactly. and stuff like that. Right? Oh, like, yeah. We are coming out with a, uh, a whole thing. Yeah. Like the complete seasons on no, DVD. He's, no, he's not talking about us. He's like, he's like, <sighs> what? You should be watching. Oh, we should be watching like the VHS things. and the. We own oh, tons yeah, of these movies. Yeah, I would yeah. say almost yeah. every movie we've yeah. done between okay, us. Okay, one wait of a songs, second. Who the fuck? But, who the fuck? Right is going to fucking say this to me, okay? Yeah. Do you know how many motherfucking times I have bought the same movie? Yeah. 80 fucking fucking times, okay? First, it fucking came out on VHS, and I bought it on VHS, and because it was an out, and I was like a fucking movie guy, I had to, like, specially order the goddamn thing, and then it was, like, and then it came out to DVD, and then there was Laserdisc, and I purchased the movie five fucking times, okay? So now, so I don't have to throw out a million CD cases because I move all the time, you know? Fuck that. Throwing everything out. Like, the, fuck. I literally said that just because I knew that was going to set you off. And I was <laughs> that was the comment I wanted. Like, I, what the fuck? Because like? I just explained. I was like, we own most of these. Well, like, like, between us, we own most of these movies or have owned them. But, the, like way my, but the way my setup is, I'm not bringing my freaking DVD player and shit over here to, like, hook into this. If it's available for me on... You know, he probably said that in such a Here. nice way, too, just to be like, hey, man, keep this going. And they just, like, ripped his head off and shit down it. Yeah, I don't know. And I, I'm glad it was you. Not his neck. Shit down yeah. his head hole. Yeah. So you throw it like a shit grenade. <laughs> so, what, what do you call shrapnel? Like, I mean, like, crapnel. I'm gonna, oh, yeah, I'm going to. Crapnel. Yes. Boom. Boom. Episode over, and ladies done. and gentlemen. See We're ya. not even watching this movie. Highlander. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there can be only one. Yeah, go watch Credits this roll. All right. <laughs> Let us get into this right now. Uh, there's a there's something that says noise and music, and let us press play now. Play now. Yeah, it worked that time. Second time. Do the second one. You're behind if you didn't. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Look at uh, all the already. sweet stuff in there. Alcohol use, foul language, nudity, sexual content, smoking, violence, and Queen. And Queen. It's it, it's not. They're not a um a warning yet. But they like, will why be. in God's name would I give up Cannon. my Spotify? Cannon. I'm going to give up my Spotify to go back to CDs. <laughs> like in the palm of my hand, I have like yeah. every CD ever. I understand, especially with movies, because it's like if it disappears from streaming, it basically disappears That's forever. what pisses me off. There's got to be somewhere that's taking all the ones, you know? Yeah. Oh, we got some. The ton of time came oh, when we silently got Oh, you're never going to make it. Centuries. Many secret lives struggling to reach the time of the gathering when the few who remain will battle the last. No one has ever known who we were among you until now. That's not even anything. That what I know said, exactly. That is like some kid in an alley saw a guy chop another guy's head off. Yeah. That was and like now a, they know. That was like a politician. Okay, right off the bat. Queen music is so fucking good. That's hence why they say like the swearing and the alcohol use yeah. and the tobacco use, because once Queen's done, you've blown it. You yeah. need a smoke and a drink, mm -hmm. you know. So Christopher Lambert, a beautiful man right off the bat. So he was in To Kill a Priest. <laughs> like, just right off the bat. Beautiful name. Yeah. He was in, <clears throat> apparently he was, uh, had an uncredited role in Loaded we National Lampoon's Loaded Weapon 1. Uh, he was in Mortal Kombat as Raiden because why not? Uh, he was in Beowulf, uh, and then he was in like other Highlander, Highlander Endgame where they combined oh the god. guy from the Highlander show yep. and him, which was a whole. Oh my god, that's thing. the thing. Oh my god, I haven't seen this movie in so long. I would have to download this on yep. Spotify. Yep. When this movie's over, so I can rock out to Queen. Yep. He played 
the he played the visitor of an intergalactic disco in a Cirque du Soleil series that was Ooh. out, which sounds accurate. Uh, he was in Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. But, like, he's just one of those guys who just, like... He's got a lot of roles, but not a lot of like. Did you mention how big like, No I'm... Escape or whatever it's called, where they're on that prison? No. Remember that prison island or whatever in the future? The, that's like most of oh these. Oh my God. That is, these are real wrestlers. That, that was, was just my. Yes, it was. This is the Hollywood Blondes. Yep. Oh, it was that. Oh my was that God. An, oh, these are untimely um, uh, Confederate flags. Look at this. Yikes. Oh, he's pissed. These are real men, people. Yeah. Real men. Michael P.S. Hayes. <laughs> What was I? I'm, trying, I'm blanking on his name. What was the other name he went by when he started in WWE? Um, I'll get it. Yeah, Michael. It was ah, god damn it. Yeah, they gave him a name for yes. a while and then just decided to abandon look at all the people it. there to watch the old game. Yeah, this is why the the, the Highlanders hang out at wrestling events. Yes. Nobody questions. Nice Look shot that. here. Look at that garbage. I swear to God, I don't think I've seen this movie in like 20 fucking years or something. That's like. probably true. Like, what? Good like, track there, bud. I'm kind of wondering. I'm like, how did, like, now you would shoot this with a drone. How would this, how was this shot? Then? Helicopter? It had to have been just a straight up helicopter. Lisa, there's a lot. Oh my God, there he is. How could you not <laughs> notice that he's got his <laughs> eye lighting on full uh, okay. Morticia <laughs> Adams? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, I'm going to say a name to you and tell me if I have this perfectly down. Thomas Jane. Oh my God, yes. Could he just not right be there. him right there yeah. and there, right? Thomas Jane could play Christopher Lambert. Thomas yeah. Jane should be in the Highlander reboot. Yeah, which is coming. Um, I think the John Wick guys. Look at this guy. Well, one of the John Wick guys is behind the Highlander. He's getting real pissed off at this guy. Yeah. It's like a buddy from... Uh, Hey, yo, Paul, Paulie, look, it looks like it's like drunk Paulie slobbering yeah. in your ear. Oh, he's remembering. He's oh, when remembering he when he saw Braveheart. <laughs> <laughs> he was not a um, very good English speaker when this movie came out. He could barely speak the language. Who? Um, oh, that looks like oh, Fatu. It is Fatu. Oh, my God. Jason Voorhees is there. Yeah. What a movie already. Yes. We got some wrestling going on here. Oh, got a friggin' on. British battle. He's all over the yeah. place. It's all it's as if he's traveled through a multiverse of time to be here. Yeah. This it's, trench coat. It's just amazing to me, though. Like, you literally. See, you see, buddy, was it like, as if he, like, they made a bet and he just walked out on it? It was yes. like he was, he couldn't believe that he was leaving right now during the main event. He's like, you were walking away during the main event. I get this. I get it. Oh, here we go. Um,. So that opening voiceover, we weren't able to hear it very well just because we were yapping. Well, I was yapping. Uh, but it was Sean Connery. Oh, it was? It. There was an echo effect because he literally recorded the voiceover in the bathroom of his Spanish In this villa. shitter. Ooh. Look at all these old cars, eh? That looks exactly like the set of, like, you know when you play a wrestling game and then you go backstage? Yeah, you fight that's backstage. Just, that's just where that is. <clears throat> you give somebody a back bat and uh -oh. drop on the car. Is he, like, feeling the presence of another immortal? I imagine his Brooks shoes would say otherwise. He doesn't look like he's doing too hot for himself for no. living all that time. It, must, like, it doesn't pay to be immortal anymore. No. I just love, love, love that they literally signed him to a contract and then found out he couldn't speak the language. <laughs> and it's not like, oh, his, like, his English was rough. He did not know a word. Whoa. What the fuck are you doing here? I am going there. That's the other thing. Why do they go so against country? So they're like, Connor McLeod, yes, this is me. <laughs> I am Connor McLeod. Jean-Claude Van Damme, his voice coach. And then, uh, and then Sean Connery comes along and he's like, I am from Spain, <laughs> and I'm actually Egyptian. Like, it's like... Yeah, I mean, they've, they've, they've gone for so long time now that yeah, he's lived in Scotland for a couple fair. centuries or whatever, right? Fair enough, yeah, he's had time to yeah. go from place to place. Oh, I love the sparks, given that they're like fencing rapiers. Oh, right through the fucking front of the car. Yes. Did it have to be swords? Is it just because of ease of cutting off the head? Probably. Like, could you not just like run over a guy's neck and pop off his head? I, 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 I don't know. Yes. Yes. Okay. I do not know the rules of the immortal world. 
Yeah. Like, yeah, um, there might be more that we don't know. Maybe they haven't told us anything. They saved it for the sequel. Oh, shit. I don't know if you'll remember anything from Highlander 2, The Quickening, but <laughs> the director's cut unveils that there was a completely different movie. It basically unveiled, like, the Highlander 2, the regular Highlander 2 just continues the story of, like, he starts getting old because, no, like, he won the prize, which Whoa! was the ability to die. No reason for that backflip. No, I know. But, yeah, he won the prize, which was the ability to die, but then all of a sudden he gets it all back because Highlander, like, well, not Highlanders, but other immortals show up, and he has to fight them and all that. But in the director's cut, they unveil that these guys all come from another planet. Oh, my God. And it's, like, in his inner planetary thing that makes no sense because like why would they have not mentioned that from the beginning i like that buddy like knows the layout here he like you know hits a sword up against this one thing that like turns the makes the lights flicker and then like mm -hmm. well this is the nassau coliseum right it's the only place you go watch wrestling oh here you go, here you, go. you can't try i love to when you have like look 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 at him go like this old white guy's doing this that's amazing that's what i see like when you see when you're casting right they pick this guy and be like now you're going to be doing backflips and shit canon definitely knew like a gymnast who was just like down on his luck he's like we'll pay we'll pay you come oh my god he's just backflipping his way the fuck out of here later highlander maybe he never learned how to walk <laughs> Or maybe he's just decided to challenge himself. He's like, life is so boring after thousands of years. <laughs> this guy's the man. Like, you know how that guy from Finger Eleven just played guitar like a robot? Just yeah. Just to kind of make a challenge for himself? Yeah, or whatever. No, just to try and look cool or yeah. whatever. He just he decided to, he, uh, this guy just decided, I'm not going to walk anywhere. It's backflips or nothing for me. That I like that dedication. Yep. Remember when D'Lo Brown entered the Rumble and I was rocking with my hands the whole time? I do remember that. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to do this regardless, bud. Just, oh, my God. It was amazing. And he was in for way too long. Oh, I gave up. I totally gave like, up. But just you, the idea of it was, you put, was you know, a warrior enough. Yeah, you, yeah you, you, you put your money on the wrong horse because you thought he was going to be out in like five minutes. And then oh, my God. You, I swear. Like 40. I swear to God. Yeah. When Dragon Drags comes out, yeah. you see me fucking, I'm going to sue the shit. We're going to make mad cash. Mad cash. Oh, my God. Did like he, it, like he hit under a car for a little while, got his breath back. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Oh, 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 I would be very oh, accepting. Oh, of oh, this. oh. No blood spraying out. Look at that. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> now he's gonna feel the quickening. Is that too? Um, oh my gosh! Like he's getting the glue. Yes. Actually, Actually the, the real quickening is when he does his taxes and he uses Quicken software. Quick tax. Yeah. Oh my god, it knocked the thing. This is almost like Terminator esque. Ooh, what was first, Terminator or this? I feel like James Cameron uh, watched this movie and got the idea for Terminator. I think Terminator came first, but this was before Terminator 2. Oh my god, what is like the cars are like, you're a master! Yeah. Or is just like the sheer power of what happened? Oh, yeah. look, look, look. Oh my god. What is he? What's happening? He, the quickening. He's, he's, he's quick sanding his power into his he's body. Sucking his, yeah, he's sucking in all the his life power. energy. Okay, so when the. <clears throat> when the. This, this is like every Michael Jackson it. video. <laughs> it just needs to grab his crotch right now. Uh, he oh, will. Oh, wow. You don't want to be around, man. What if somebody was some, some cat? Should have been some cat crush. like under the car. It just explodes. Yeah, probably. Or would it only do it to inanimate objects? All right. I'm going to read you. A piece of trivia. Oh, that looks I like want, a trip. Now, this is real trivia, but I want you to decide whether or not it's true or not. According to Hulk Hogan, he was offered the part of Connor McCloud, but turned it down to focus on his wrestling career. Ironically, in the beginning scene, Connor McCloud is at Madison Square Garden watching the wrestling match involving the oh, is the Freebirds. The Freebirds. The fabulous Freebirds. Yeah. It was. Do you think Hulk Hogan was offered the role? No. Of, no. Hard, hard pass. No way in hell hard they, uh, they're like, you know, we can't get Hogan, so we'll get this guy that doesn't speak English. Where did they find oh, this guy? Why would they not know this guy speaks fucking French? I have, it's, it's fucking canon, man. Like, it's not that far, big of a stretch. I didn't know until they came on that it was canon. This must be one of the bigger yeah. budget canon movies ever. Yeah. Think of fucking Sean Connery. And this movie, this was a successful movie, but not a really <laughs> successful movie. Probably not one that, like, begged for a sequel, much less four. Oh, and a show, and a TV show. And a TV show. Well, TV show, you can get anything out of that. That was a Canadian TV show. <laughs> it's it's fine. Oh, my God. This Once that song started, I realized that I, years and years ago, made a spoof video. 
and it was about uh, eating a uh, period blood that become makes you immortal. Yeah. <clears throat> And then the song was, I am immortal, your period blood is what I need. I am immortal, with minimum fuss, I plant my seed. That was the song. (laughs) I like it. It's just as good as the original. Of course it is. Now, I will tell you somebody who was originally cast in this movie. Kurt Russell was cast as Connor McCall. Oh, my God. But was convinced to quit by his girlfriend, Goldie Hawn. Oh, my God. She probably just saved him something. Yeah, but, but he, he got, got well. And then oh, buddy, there, right yeah, in the background, the, the guy who's Scottish in every movie. Yeah, yeah. and there's like Colin Farrell's yeah, stunt yeah, double. Pretty much. Is this, but, is this a real castle, or is that like a matte painting? It looks real. For back in the day, when was this movie made? Eighty three. It was eighty seven. Fuck. I should have uh, known by those bagpipes. Yeah, those are eighty seven <laughs> bagpipes for sure. Let me look it up. Uh, but anyways, yeah, he ended up doing Big Trouble in Little China instead of this. So I think everything worked out great for him. But I mean, he was very charismatic. He would have had. He would have done much better than uh, Christopher Lambert. Yeah, like, but you that's know what? for sure. I think that honestly, it was. There's a balance that I think he he would have needed to have that he doesn't normally have. He's so young in this. He's also in Game Dungus, of Thrones. you dungle. Oh, yeah. yeah they're, they're still talking about Henry Cavill to star in Highlander. Oh, he'd yeah. He'd be great. Nah. I think he'd be great. Oh, he's going to do that thing that he does. Well, I hope that happens. He'll I, definitely I, do that. As, I hope he's got a good one. Uh, yeah, when are we going to get the preview for Mission Impossible 19? No, it was, uh, Mar- it was 86, not 87. Mission, actually, actually, I think the Mission Impossible just uh, trailer just came out. No fucking way. We should, we should have talked about this on our goddamn thing instead of I, rambling on. Well, because I didn't write anything down because like, I'm an <laughs> asshole this time around. Yo, oh, there's money. Mm-hmm. He started Pet Cemetery 2. He's in a lot of things. Clancy Brown. He's also like Batman's voice, I think, yeah. in the cartoons. Uh, Not Batman's, he, but. He's in a lot. Well, he's a lot of voices. Yes. He was in Thunder Alley. He's in Shawshank Redemption, Dead Man Walking, Starship Troopers. He's the. Uh, the drill sergeant yep. in that. He's in everything. Um, he's also the voice, the most important voice that he is, is uh, Krusty, or uh, what's his uh, From SpongeBob. From SpongeBob. Yeah. Um, but he was also in he's got ER. a great voice. Yeah, ER, Carnival, The Express, Daredevil, Warcraft. He was in the new Dexter series. He's um, in the upcoming John Wick 4. He was did voices in Gargoyles. He's the voice of Lex Luthor. Mm. He's the okay, voice. there you go, yeah. Here's an interesting one. He's the voice of Raiden in Mortal Kombat Defenders of the Realms. So we have two. The, the, the main guy, the main good guy and main bad guy are both Raiden. Oh, no shit. Yeah. That's pretty cool, actually. Mm-hmm. And he also voiced uh, his own character in Roughnecks, Star- Starship Troopers Chronicles. Ooh. So he did that, and he is The also, bugs are back. Yeah, he also did. I thought one, they'd never yeah. be back. Also did stuff for Avatar, Star Wars Clone Wars, Red Hulk, Star Wars Rebels, and like I said, SpongeBob. This whole team's called McCloud. Which one are you looking for, bud? It's the Clan McCloud, baby. Clan. Oh, wait, that's me. He I've seen like so much, than so stuff. much battle like this, man. I've been watching Vikings. Yeah, it is awesome. Mm-hmm. What an awesome show, man! The battles are so wicked and violent. Yeah. Like holy, sh- my god! Oh, you got drowned in a puddle. Oh my god! Can you imagine that? <laughs> in a war, you were drowned in a puddle. Yeah, these guys look like they just stopped playing like golf that was just invented to yeah. rumble. Have been trained a day in their lives. You're killing them all. That guy looked a little <clears> bit <throat> like um, Michael Palin. He doesn't even know look, look, like these guys just showed up. I'm actually kind of what was that his like best go? Yeah, yeah, was, that was he's like, uh, no, 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 because he knows those guys aren't really into like they're running away. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Good God. Well, that's all right. All Not for a Viking away. though. They'd be like going too hardcore. They don't even oh, want to fight me. The Vikings he, love to die. He kind I of know. reminds me of. Uh, not Skeletor. I just fucking had it, and then now I lost oh, it. Oh, sorry. Oh, my God. That's hot. Oh, my God. Remember Wait, when this we is saw... back. Way back. Yeah. What's going on here? Remember when we saw, um, was it Highlander 3? That was the only one we saw in theaters with uh, yes. Mario, Mario Van Peebles. Oh, he knows. Yeah, he gets it. Oh, he had help. Oh, wow. It just switched to like, what the hell? Yeah. What the hell yeah, just yeah. happened? They, this is when they stopped using the good camera. Yeah. 
just for the for zoom out. It's like shitty weather. Yeah, oh my god, it's doing is it's doing, his, it's doing a shot on an SVHS. Oh, okay, I thought it was doing an, a fucking Star Wars. Like, uh, yeah. is that the guy that was just after him? Or was he just remembering that? What? No, yeah, he was just remembering that. He's like that guy's gonna be the real. A lot like of the guys are yeah, like canon films, right? Like what? what um, what's the deal here? Like, why is he running? Nobody knows what just happened. Yeah. Yeah, and now they just found a guy speeding well, down the road with a sword. You also do want you you don't want to be in the vicinity of a guy with no head while holding a sword, though, right? Yeah. So he did cut a man's yeah, head. I guess. What? Well, oh, look! He did say, "Watch it, freak." Yeah. Well, he is. <clears throat> like, yeah, they can tell he's French. Just <laughs> but. We should cut his head off just to be safe. Maybe the I feel like he's running because there's more Highlanders out there. He seems like he's very paranoid yeah. and he's hiding from somebody. And I'll bet you, and I'm gonna tell you right now, like I literally don't remember one minute of this film. I really don't. I remember not. Well, you either. You're saying. I'm not. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Good. Because I'm telling you, I'll bet you the chief of police or who's running is the main is the main dude. Yeah. I'm 90% certain that RoboCop might show up in this movie. As exactly as any as like as time has gone on. Yeah. Buddy there, voiceover man, yeah, uh, has been torturing. Like he has put himself into a position of power over time, yeah. but but as, as, by always trying to, you know, but but at the same time always holding down and trying to take Christopher Lambert's power. Yeah, turn it off. I'm gonna tell you the rest of the movie right now, and then Sean Connery shows up. Yeah. Topless. Sean, Sean Connery comes, he squeezes a woman's boobs and slaps her. <laughs> exactly like a man does. He actually, we'll have to do Highlander 2 eventually. You talking about, of course we do. He got, he had like, I think they, I think he had multiple, uh, multiple like sexual harassment lawsuits and he was only on set for like two days. <laughs> I thought it's hilarious. He's like, nobody back in the day gave a shit. Yeah. Uh, Oh, oh, here we go. This is what happens now when he dies. In fairness, she said it is over, and then his eyes were still moving around. Shut the fuck up, lady. God, this guy must, like, his, he must start drooling when he finds out that, like, old, like, old period Scottish movies are being made. He's like, that's his version of Oh, they know he is. Yeah. The last thing you shouldn't hear is a woman sobbing. Okay, now what the hell happens? He goes back into like, like yeah. out of the universe, farts around for a while. Maybe he's a dung yeah. beetle for a couple of days and comes back to being a Highlander. Yeah, he just heals up. There's really nothing much to it. He's, but does he have to die before healing? No, because he can't die. It's just, he's just in it. Like, he's not dead there. He's like, even by bad acting or whatever, he was still moving. So. Oh, I thought the idea was that he had died and then that's you come yeah. back. Like. Well, through <clears throat> through the power of ancient Scottish medicine, they think he's dead, but he's not. Well, no, but they yeah. just said they were like, he's a Highlander. Yeah. You don't want well, the last thing. But remember, a Highlander is oh, not Oh, sorry, I got you. Are yes, yes, yeah. I got you. That was <gasps> something the thing yeah, that was something that the people from How Did This Get Made could not understand. They were like, is this guy Highlander or is this guy not No, because Highlander? they're Highlanders from yes, where they live. they are from Scotland. Yes. Um, that was just Buddy. It was just Buddy. The Knutsons. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. That's him, right? I don't know. I got to hear him talk. I don't know. What's she doing? Oh, she's a she's got to be a journalist. Yeah, always a journalist. Oh, and my question was yes. No, that is ab- yes, yes, it is. Absolutely, it's him. Look it up, but I'm. Gonna... He's gotten older, shorter, fatter, like all of us. <laughs> He's all that dude, the, the other dude, the other cop has been in a lot of shit too. And I think he's in a lot of canon movies. The, yeah. that, oh, that yeah. dude there. That guy's in a lot of stuff. <clears throat> he's look at this. in a lot of comedy too though. She's like, you forgot to look up his butthole. She's putting on rubber gloves. Yeah, yeah those are pretty Okay, anyways, before, before I throw myself off again. Don't throw yourself off. Did was the reason that the sword went through the cars and the pole because he's super strong because of sucking in all the people's powers? Or is the sword that sharp? That's a really good question. Or is it both? I would probably say it's a combination of both. Because as he's sucking in their yeah. power and everything, he's got to be getting stronger, right? Uh, yeah, and I'm also so guessing because it's like an old school blade that has got like a little bit of, uh, you know, it's got that old world craftsmanship. Craftsmanship, I could not say. You know what's funny? This movie just feels like a real movie. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Is. Like a lot of the ones on like Netflix. Like I'm saying, I'm honestly thinking about getting rid of Netflix, man, because I don't find Jack shit on there anymore. Oh, hey, hey I want- Todd. You were 100% right. That fucking was right he was. You, you fucking... 
Wow, well, well done. done. Well mm -hmm. done. I'm proud of you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's be quiet now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get over it. Yeah. So Russell Mulcahy, he is the one who directed this. Uh, he did a lot of music videos. Uh, he did, directed videos by The Tubes, Elton John, Spandau Ballet, um, Billy Joel, Duran Duran. His first film was Razorback. This was his second film. He directed Highlander 2, The Quickening, The Real McCoy, The Shadow, and Resident Evil Extinction. Mm. And you can guess based on those last couple of movies what happened after that. <laughs> Um, it was written by, the story was written by uh, Gregory Wyden, or Widden, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, he wrote Backdraft, The Prophecy, Brett Backdraft 2, which I saw, and is horrible. Return of the Draft? Yep. And But it's literally like, it's like basically, um, fucking, what's his face? Uh, Billy Baldwin and another woman who's like the new recruit. In, like in a room, like in the firehouse kitchen, they couldn't afford to go anywhere else. <laughs> He's like, There's a bad fire out there. <clears throat> hey, do I sound enough like Alec yet? And then, you know. And then he's like, oh, Don't worry, I don't have a prop gun. Really fine. <laughs> <laughs> it was just. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Well, what do we do? <laughs> he just asked him if he was a faggot. Are you the oh, cop? And he's, he's like, Why are you cruising for a piece of ass? Nice. For what it's worth, he should. That guy they're they're like all going into the series of why he went down there. Mm -hmm. The first guy was like, you were going to buy the sword. Oh, you were going to buy the sword, got into a fight to chop his head off. Yeah. And then he's like, you know what? He's like, maybe he was so depressed about that wrestling that he chopped his own head off. And then the cop's like, what are you, a faggot? You went down there to get a blowjob, and now they're fighting. I like the idea <clears throat> that, he, that he had to be gay to be, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to go down to a parking lot where presumably... His car was. Like, mm. it's just... mm -hmm. No, 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 no. That's like the last scenario. Yeah. Oh, fuck it yeah. That's the American mayor. news. We this never get news like this. This is 1980s New York, too, so you know it's a fucking shithole. <laughs> <laughs> there, oh, is here crazy. he is. He's, he's got, got a tape player, player though, because he's going to play some Queen. Oh. Oh, my God. Like, he's got, like, those, like, uh, like facial implants that became yeah. way cooler way later and then stopped. <laughs> the um uh i i was hearing a story today actually i guess when they were shooting uh wayne's world so they were did they did the whole uh, bohemian rhapsody thing and um freddie mercury was really sick with the aids at such mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. and uh the the bass player or whatever brought the scene to him and he said he like it was like one of his like last acts was just laughing at that scene. Dude, I'm telling you right now, which movie was first, the Terminator or this? All right. Because this movie is totally. He look at him. He is the Terminator. Yeah, no, I agree. They had the cop scene. Like, look at this guy. You seen this guy? It's like it's literally the Terminator. They just showed him. Terminator this. came out first. Okay, this is the Terminator ripoff. Yeah. Look at him. Terminator came out in '84. This was '86. Okay, this movie is so ripping off. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm so glad. I was just so pissed off. Could you? Oh, your whole life would be. Different. Oh my god! Like, he's like, he's like, you cannot mess. I know. With I just hear the panic franchise. in my voice, like. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, his sword becomes the lightsaber. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I don't know how the sword like clicks together. Like, how does it stay together? For yeah, years? I don't know. Oh, here, like just uh, like this, bud. Just like this. <laughs> they're gonna give. They're, they're gonna, gonna show you the, uh, the tutorial assembly. He's, he's just, just so dead eyed there. Oh. Phew. Nice room, though, for a hotel. Yeah, it's not bad. I think this is the same room Mario Van Peebles used. <laughs> oh, 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 he's adding some length. Oh, in case he has Where's to go upwards. Looking? Boom. That's See there. Not, that's not How good. the hell? There's, There's no, no way that that's stable. If he swings it hard enough and crashes it into something, that piece is going to go flying off. Now, that could be Look that deadly. move. That was all right. Maybe when it clicks in it, like, you know what I mean? It really, like that, the inwards. Yeah. yeah. So the idea oh. is... Oh my god, look at her. She's got like, she's all bruised up and like. What is with this shot? So many movies use this shot. Of course you are. It. They use it in zombie movies. He's gonna Frankenhooker this bitch. Yes. He's gotta yeah. test his sword out. No, this is when he's really gonna show off the quickening. <laughs> That's why he got the sword out. Because yeah. he knows he's not, you know, he's gonna blow up before he even gets it in. He's gonna be so embarrassed at her drug laughter that yeah. he has to chop her up. Mm hmm. So, yeah, the basic idea is, so she was in, um, the only other things I can really think of that she was in 
or did I actually write it down for a change? <laughs> um, but she went. Uh, let me see. Roxanne Hart. Yeah, she was in Chicago Hope. She was in like the last season of Oz, and then other than that, she's got like these like two, three episode arcs and a bunch of TV shows. Cool. Well, good for her. So that's a, I, that's a cool yeah. journeyman career. It's Ooh. just the only thing that must be frustrating about that is just the constant having to audition and get a role. Maybe that's just the way she likes it, man. She's she's got be. something else on the go. She doesn't want to pull, but she gets to act. A couple, you know, gets gets her face seen out there. Yeah, if I can give a recommendation, I just listened to the audiobook for Office BFFs, uh, Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey's like whole story about like working on the Office okay. and stuff. And it also Uh-oh. included how they decided to go ahead and do the podcast and all that sort of stuff. And it was literally got nothing them. else going on. They want money. Yeah. No, actually, because they were both working when they decided to do it. They were both working. She was uh, Angela Kinsey was doing a movie, and um, uh, Jenna Fisher was doing. Uh, she was starring in a TV show. So like, a TV show. Oh my God! Look split, at that. It was splitting up together. Oh my God! Prowler two. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, it was splitting up together. She was a star of, and um, they were still. They were both going on, and then. Uh, they were like, I. They didn't like the experiences they were having compared to what they had at the office. Right. Cause, like they, they were like, uh, they made sure that like the actors got off early so they could go be with their families at night and stuff like that. And then she's like, the first Halloween that we fought because like. Halloween was a big deal for the office and they would have like a little Halloween party, but then everybody would get out super early so they could go and take their kids trick or treating or whatever. And so it's a nice like, place to work. Yeah. So she never missed any of that stuff. The first Halloween when she was doing splitting up together, she was talking about getting out early and they're like, no, we rented a crane. Who is that? Is that not? Okay. No, I thought I was. It's not. I All thought right. that was the driver of uh, the firefly. Oh, Still looks like him. Uh, uh, Tudic. Tudic. Yeah, no, he would have been. Way Ooh, somebody too actually nice. said I look just like him. Really? Somebody at, at a bus stop. Okay. He was oh, like, you oh, could be like, yeah, stop. exactly. I yeah. Get I get it. I get the it. The same person three days later said I yeah. look just like Chris Rock. Nice. Then he slapped you. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to think the first black person, like, but it, it was a Chris Rock. So right on. There you go, bud. You did it. You're number one. Um, but, but yeah, yeah, so uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, so what was I saying? So they were just, uh, they had these bad experiences where it was like it was the first time she ever missed like trick or treating with her kids because they like rented mm. a Well, but you know, if that's important to you, yeah, right? but I mean, the one thing is like you actually had one job where they really did do it. No, not every place is gonna, yeah. you know, no, and that's it. And it was just like, and that was the thing is they just were kind of spoiled by this thing by being so on the set decided, of this place. So they're like, what job can we do where the, uh, where we have a little bit more control over our hours. Right. Like we're the bosses of our own thing. And then um, the guy who was like the co-star of her show was like, you should look into a podcast together if they're like really good friends and stuff. So that's how they decided to do that, uh, their podcast. And it just so happened that June Diane Raphael from, uh, she's in Grace and Frankie and all that stuff, but she's one of the hosts of How Did This Get Made? Where, like came on and she started asking her about podcasts and she just like, told her everything and they're like yeah this is what we need to do yeah totally well, then, that's cool and then when they were trying to figure out when are we going to do this because like, we don't have time to do this because i've got the show you got the thing she wrapped her movie and then how then um splitting up together got canceled and they're like well i guess we're doing it now well, there you go yo i like this guy so like he's been around for how the hell long yeah like a couple hundred or what mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this lady who's only been alive for I don't know 25 30 years mm-hmm. has got the jump on him. Yeah. He is a terrible detective. I also That's why just, he lives like a fucking bum. Yeah. I, I like that his he, he has resting skulk face. <laughs> resting. Oh, that's funny. I was just talking to today about where somebody's resting bitch face. Oh, nice. They didn't know what it meant. I was like their face when in just regular resting it looks bitchy, but in fact they're not. Yeah. Oh, look, look, look. He's like, you were about to walk that into the sounded, steam. That sounded... Oh, shit! Oh, was he just like... I just picture... Like, I want to see a long shot of that where he was just crouched. Exactly. Like, That's like in one of the video games oh. where it's like a 3D or like you're looking out of the person's eyes and then yeah. the guy just pops up here. And you're like, oh, I gotta shoot him. He's right in front of me. Like, how did he get there? Fair. Can I put it to you that this is like the slowest action I've ever seen in my life? Oh, my God. What do you mean? <laughs> Did these guys who clearly have no business handling swords yeah. uh, swinging them around? Well, in Highlander too, he almost cut the like he almost like cut his hand off. 
Oh, God, it has to be like a real yeah. sword. He insisted because he wanted the weight and stuff like that. And they were like, eh. and then he like, it was a dull blade, but still it's when you really give it a swing. Right. right? It, it chopped him up good. Oh, we found him easy. Nice. The chick, see, he's the Terminator. Yeah. He's Kyle Reese and that dude's the Terminator. Yeah, no. And I that agree. chick's Linda Hamilton. Yes. Look, see, like he's going to lose his arm in this thing. It's going to grow back because he's Highlander. There can be only one. I don't like an outside of, like roundhouse kick from a Highlander. Well, not Highlander. Again, an immortal. You're going to be it's, getting, it's well, what do you want? What do you yeah. want here? You got to learn. Oh. If you're going to be Ooh, like. The helicopter's the perfect thing to chop off their heads. If you're going to be. <laughs> I drew that right. Yeah. That's what he says every time. Another time. That's like at the end of every Highlander of the cartoon. That would have been the best. Another time, Highlander. Yeah, that would have been the best. All of a sudden, it goes fades to black, comes up, and goes four hundred years later. Right? <laughs> it's like it's like you couldn't just that, wait, like tell that. Yeah, the they should have cleared. really done a real. That should be the reboot. It's like yeah. way in the future. We're quite a ways into this movie without Sean Connery yet. I'm pretty. Upset. Oh, I think you just did the. Oh, see. See, uh oh, she's you know on to something she shouldn't have found here now, if bud. You speak to somebody and they tell you you only have one life. <laughs> exactly. Do whatever the next thing oh, they shit, say sorry. is. It's fine. You're oh my god, happy. is that the man? Yeah. <laughs> just a the pop. guy who plays the homeless guy in every freaking movie. I see he's got the devil in him. There's a lot of really bad. Uh, I'm taking it off, you know, I'm getting Highlander. Up yeah. There. Oh yeah. There you go. It's a lot of really bad accents here, right? We're in Scotland. Hi, I'm Scottish. Are you Scottish? <laughs> yes, we are Scottish. <laughs> oh, she's hot. Oh, he's got the, yeah, he does have some like, he does have a lot of Braveheart vibes going on here. Oh, yeah, he's dressed exactly like him. Is he traveling back and forth through time? So he doesn't know, know that he just pissed him off 10 no, minutes ago. He's just constantly flashing back wow. to things that have like, they don't even have, tie into anything that like he's experiencing. It's like, like in um, demon night, you keep holding this. Oh, sorry. Like, no, um, in demon night, he uh, like, like he'll see something and then flash back to that. This one, he's just like, anytime they catch him staring at nothing, they're like, <laughs> we should probably throw in a, uh, like a flashback just so his stare doesn't seem so creepy and weird. Oh, they're all freaked out now because he came back yeah. to life. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. He looks like he has the type of face that would be easy to recreate in like a mask. <laughs> you know what I mean? To make his severed off head, I think it would be oh, easy. You're 100% right. Oh! Or smash a bottle over it. Nice. You know you can't kill him. He's a fucking Highlander. Yeah. Oh, see, everything, this is the problem with back in the day. It was kill him for everything. Yeah. Like the guy didn't die when he should have now kill him. Like yeah. he's a witch. He he healed. He didn't he didn't die of like the uh all the infections. That he, he should should've. be dead. Kill yeah. him. Oh, he th That's like that was definitely game. a header. That's like a fun game. Yeah. Kick him in the balls. I started watching, I haven't finished it yet, but I started watching Jackass 4.5 on Netflix. What's that say again? I started watching Jackass 4.5 on Netflix. The whole thing is just people getting hit in the testicles. <laughs> like literally, it showed uh, Danger Aaron. Somebody on Danger a pogo, Aaron. Somebody got a pogo stick and pogo sticked on his balls. Nice. Oh, so good job. Oh my God. Oh, lady Jesus. So we we <clears throat> just found the Republican in the group. Yeah, there she is. Oh, he sort of was Scottish in that one moment. <laughs> Angus, oh yeah. Yeah, he's played, he's been Angus in literally every movie he's ever been Like, in. You really, wouldn't this be the guy you wanted to go into battle with? He's unkillable. Yeah, no, absolutely. They didn't even, look at his buddy, didn't even undo him. <laughs> he's like, well, you should be uh, uncomfortable a little bit. You know, so keep that on for a while. Try, try. Oh, look, I gotta find the guy's goddamn name because I lost it. McLeod, Liam McLeod of the Clan McLeod. Yeah, there's Duncan. This is well. This is Connor McLeod, and the oh, other Connor one's McLeod. Duncan McLeod. Connor McLeod of the Clan McLeod. Oh, you're nailing it. You're crushing. <laughs> I'm doing better than him. Yeah. Oh yes, absolutely. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna dispute that. I'm trying Just to walking. Is he in New York? New York. Yeah. This is a yeah. a young yeah. lawyer named Rudy Giuliani. Is See now, now it got better again. All of a sudden, every time they click to like some kind of a. Yeah. Aerial or something. It gets right shitty. Yeah. Well, it's probably because of the just like 
whatever camera they have to use, it's like, oh, we have to use one that like has a certain frame, right? And that's gonna affect the quality, blah blah blah. Is this his house? Okay, I take back what I said. He just hasn't been home in a while. Yeah, that is a nice house. That's all I would do is use my <clears throat> use my time to like gather knowledge and power. Get rich as fuck. And just be that. Oh guy. yeah, he's got a beauty house. The other guy looked like he was doing shittier. Yeah. The bad guy. Yeah, that guy's been just driving with a tape. The, whole <laughs> the same tape. Oh, where's he going here? This dirty James sex Cosmo. Room. That's the guy's name who played Angus McLeod of the Clan McLeod. Who, yes. Oh, look at all the shit he's collected. Oh, yeah. Wow. Ah. That's that would be the best collection. Like you know how much that collection is worth because it's all authentic. Take it to the uh, antique roadshow. He'll tell you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if this is real. I give him fifteen bucks for it. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking it's clearly uh, fake. Pawn Stars <laughs> guy. He's like. Know, he's like no. He's like I gotta make some money off this too. You know. <laughs> yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Come on now. Would you rip right. me off here? Yeah. So James Combo, uh, <laughs> James Cosmo, played the, basically the same role in Braveheart, basically the same role in Troy. Um. A similar role in Game of Thrones. He's in a lot of stuff, though. Like, who would ever really live here? Look at how happy he was back then. Yeah. She sounds exactly like the uh, <laughs> like the woman from Braveheart too. <laughs> I shut your tipples off and come and brave it's me. <laughs> that sounded more like uh, Leah Thompson in Back to the Future Three. <laughs> Oh, a sandwich. Ooh, he's making love in her right now. Oh, there's something not. Did they put their clothes on? To He put his clothes on to have sex with Exactly. Her. Yes, he did. Very good. Nice. My lord. Ooh. I would certainly like to meet Ramirez. Oh. I bless him. I wonder if she had a problem with that. She's her little titty, titty nip there. She'll be fine. His little nip slip. He's going again. Whoa. Oh, there he is. <clears throat> yeah, I'm making love to a woman, I say. My name is. <laughs> <laughs> when you come, that is what I come. <laughs> well, I do. Oh, I like his little peacock. Oh, I love it. All outfit. Out. Love every bit of it. It's also how. Um... Was the music and the horse snickering? Yes. What the hell? What's <laughs> how? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I'm driven out. He knows everything because he has the he has the internet. You got that right. Oh fuck. Oh my god! Because he said his name. Yeah. Well, it's because this is the gathering. Uh oh. Oh fuck. Oh, he had done. He had uh, Christopher Lambert had done one English speaking role prior to this one, but it's not a very good example. He was in Greystoke, The Legend of Tarzan, Lord of the Apes. He played Tarzan. So, yeah, English wasn't really a necessity. <clears throat> I remember that movie. Actually, now they say that. Yep. I'm wondering if that's what got him the role. He's like, hey, he was, he was great in Tarzan. That's an English movie. So why was the quickening happening then to him? He never chopped anybody's head off. I, I don't he, know. Like he had a layaway or what happened there? Yeah, I don't know what happened. What's happening to you is the quickening. Mm-hmm. It happens to me too. Maybe because he was explaining it when another yes. Highlander explains it to another, they will feel the quickening. I guess. Oh, Did you just hear that one? He's like, it's somebody just called because his Vietnamese neighbor ate his dog. Ooh, that's that's nice and sensitive. Like that is like, oh yeah, yeah, okay, because they lived in the city. Like, oh my god, but they still yeah. live like a fucking like what? Like Asians. Yeah, like. Well, <laughs> All they do is take pictures and eat my dog. <laughs> and take pictures of themselves eating my dog. That's how I know. Also, they're all Japanese as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Especially the oh, Vietnamese. There he is. With his race car suit on. That looks like those are his headshots to play Luke Skywalker. And yes. They, and George Lucas looked at it and was like, no. <laughs> Put it in the Highlander pile. <laughs> yeah. This guy plays with regular swords, not laser swords. Yeah, exactly. What a place. What do you think this would cost in New York? Ooh, I love the metallurgical history of ancient sword making. Oh, that's why. Scranton. Oh. She was born in Scranton. Nice. 
Probably Scranton, Virginia. Oh, who's taking care of his fish when he's not there, which is never? I assume that he trained one of the fish to do it. Mm. He get he like gets mm. out and mm. just pulls in what they need. Fish not oh, enough. yeah, he is living in flashback yeah. mode here. You think that living so much in the present and for so long you would stop looking in the past? Yeah, but there's so much of it to live in. <laughs> It's, and so much for us to has, understand. He has so much. Yeah, true. There's a lot. There's a lot of uh, exposition. Yeah, exactly. Get. Oh my god, this is the same thing Miyagi did. Yes. <laughs> what do you do with it? Ew. <laughs> oh, that just because he does almost the exact same thing in the quickening. Where he says something, he's like, what is bullshit? Or something like that. Oh, right. Yeah, he's Egyptian. Yes. <laughs> I also love that. <laughs> he looks like an Egyptian for sure, right? Like, So he just, like, found him for what reason? Just to teach him the way? Yeah. <laughs> that was, like, the worst thing that's ever happened. He has never been in the water. Oh, my God. He also is sinking like a stone he's not even trying also very bad wow music. like that was like that was like music from looney tunes you can't drown yeah this is a good thing to discover oh my god now the question is can you suck in enough? <laughs> i guess he's talking into there yeah can you suck in enough water so you can like sink down and walk around i guess he's doing it right now No, you can't breathe. It just doesn't He just matter. said he can breathe. He can I breathe know, water. He's full of shit. And it's full of water and seaweed. Blah. What a scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to practice some sword fighting <laughs> down here. Well, now that you're underwater, you know if he sent you underwater, you're going to have to fight some dudes underwater. Can I also make the point <clears> that <throat> he failed to cut that plant while he was swinging the sword around? It's seaweed. <gasps> oh, no, he's Horror. dressed like the... You think they'd have to come out and like expel some water out of his, you know? He's got the pouty lips like that baby Bon Jovi who was in Event Horizon and shit like that. <laughs> baby Bon Jovi. <clears throat> but you know who I'm talking about. Yes, I totally do. There you go. Whoa. It's true. Absolutely <laughs> true. That's what I thought when he was sneaking yeah. up. Oh my God, he just chopped his arm off. Okay, so if you're immortal but you lose a limb, do you grow your limb back? Great question. I don't have like an what answer happens? For you. That's not in here. <laughs> and how does he not know that he's a Highlander or a well, yeah, I, I an know, immortal? Yeah. Well, I think it's the first time that anything came up. Oh, is this his? Uh, this is his old man. That's yeah. why. But this I'm is, your father. Yeah, but this is also the thing that where the the second one ruins everything. If you if they're all from another planet, if he had to come here from another planet and be this immortal guy. How did he not know? Is that really what happens in the second one? They yes, become that they're aliens. There's a planet Zeiss. It's oh well, it's like, my god! I think god. it's more like interdimensional, but same diff. Oh, here we go, here we go. My mitochondrians or whatever the fuck. What are they called? Mitochondria. Midichlorians. Midichlorians. Yeah. You see, my friend, because of the midichlorians. I was listening to, there was an episode, uh, most Conan O'Brien needs a friend, and uh, they were talking, and it was like Conan was talking about how he is technically Star Wars canon because George Lucas named a character after him. And he had him on like one of those Comic Con episodes, and then he said, "There's a character who we named, but we never gave him a first name. So now mm. his first name is Conan." And so he's like, "So now you're part of the Star Wars canon." And then his producer's like, "I'm also part of the Star Wars canon." He's like, "What?" And he's like, "Yeah, because um, a friend of mine wrote one of the books that's out, and they are all star. They are all canon to st like the current Star Wars universe." Right. And he's like, and they named one of the space <clears throat> one of the, like one of the spaceports after me and my wife. So he's like, that's cool. And then Bill Hader was the guest and he was talking and then he was like, why are you guys talking about Star Wars so much? So whatever. And then they were like, well, because we're canon. He's like, yeah, I'm not canon. And then he just randomly is like, I'm the voice of BB-8, though. 
Because he is the voice of BB-8. Right. And then they're like, so you are canon. He's like, ah! And then they all started making fun of Sonic because she's not canon. <laughs> she's not canon. This is canon. This movie is ridiculous. <laughs> I know, it's not. I love it. It's, it's not holding up as well as I, I thought. I love the Look fact that, okay, so why did he come to tell him this? Yeah, there's no reason. Like, like... And he's like, well, and eventually they will technically have to fight each other. One. Because he said that eventually yeah. there's going to be, you'll have an irresistible pull yes. to go to, don't laugh at me. Yeah. He knows he's no sleeping with Sean Connery. I mean, my God. I think that when they, he's tuckered out from well, a day of, of he, sword play, you know. Sean Connery has oh, betted yeah. that woman oh, probably yes. 30 times a day <laughs> since he's been here. <laughs> my only thinking is that he's ready to die. And he's just like, you know, I've uh, I've been at this for a long time. He's like, I'm ready. And I'm done. done. Yeah. So he's picking the person. Oh, to, to, do to it. take his spot. Right? Wait, what's holy ground? Church. Planet Zolnoff? No. Uh, I think it's church. It's San Diego Comic Con. I'm only. pretty sure that's neither of them. There's no chance it was <laughs> either of them. That hair. The, I was like, what the fuck? Oh, he also looks like... Um, He's going to have to he, run out and rip the heart out yeah, of it. He looks like young Vigo from Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> oh, he totally does. Young like this, Vigo. Vigo the they should have explored thing. more of his backstory. That's going to be the next... Yeah. The next Ghostbusters yeah. is a total backstory of Vigo the Carpathian. You know, they came out and said that the new one made essentially the same as the, the, the female-led one. Mm -hmm. They both made like, essentially the exact same amount of money. Yeah. Oh, look, I, the look, female, he's going to go to fight. Uh, the female led one gets a bad rap. Oh, no, that's what I'm saying, yeah. because they, they everybody goes on and on about the newest one, and they both made the same money. Yeah. Like, they like they all have their value. I mean, like, neither one of them are the original, but so what? Nothing has to be. Like, that's why just, I think it all could have just been in within the universe. Yeah. Like, why does it have to be? It was a terrible movie, though, and I, it wasn't really big on the newest one either. Oh, I had fun watching both of them. I didn't care. Nah, they Actually, both sucked. My high, Chris Hemsworth was my highlight of the... Of the all girls, yes, he was hilarious in that movie. And your favorite was a man, yeah, that's how it is. But, um, <laughs> it's like, oh, finally, I don't even get up there. Finally, someone I can listen oh, to, right? <laughs> but no, um, <laughs> just he was, uh, no, I just thought I thought he was really good, and it was really cool to see when he's willing to take a backseat role, right? Because I mean, he started as a star. Oh, fuck. Right? He, he just beat his teacher. Yeah, he did it. And you lost your sword in the whole yeah, ordeal. That sword was worth four million dollars. <laughs> if that, if money Watch, was I'm sending thing. you after it. Oh, I like See, that. He's just throwing him off the fucking cliff. Because <laughs> he can't die. Yeah, he's just all broken and he's got to wait like six years to heal. <laughs> you should look up like, what's the deal? You should look up rules to the immortals. Like what? What if they uh, lose their hand? Like what I don't want to they... get into it because I think it's going to be like the rules to vampires, and it's going to oh, be yeah. it depends on what fucking right. movie you're watching. Sometimes they're glittery, sometimes they're not. Oh, oh, where to go? Every time he makes a face, I'm upset. Oh, I'm usually not the one on my back, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I do. We just do the rest of this commentary as two Sean Connerys. Absolutely. Now they're having a party at the old house here. I love a good party. Like, who would live in that thing? Like, one person, right? Like, they well, found, like, the ruins of some old castle, and they live there now. In fairness, what other choice do they have? It's not like real you estate. You could have built something. Business. Yeah, but all the stones are there. It's already there, yeah. Yeah. Probably sleep in the basement. It's like, you're either doing that, or you're <clears> stacking <throat> up peat moss. <laughs> like, those are your, those <laughs> the are your two. Options. That's it. That is it. Now, granted, the peat moss would actually be really nice and cool in the summer and warm in the winter, but... There should have been more Muppets. Oh, nice. A couple then, of drunk oh, guys. A couple of drunk old men fighting it out for people's... But, you know, they, the, both of them, that's what happens is both of them ran out of money for a drink. Yeah. Even though it's all free. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they, they get crazy when they get drunk and they throw them in there and they fight for drinks. I get it. Oh, I would spend, oh, like... Oh, she kind of looks like the... Like the destiny. What I'm trying to say, she looks just like the goddamn Ooh, just agent. Gave a good squeezer or butthole. Isn't that her? Only now she has like dark hair and she's the. Isn't that the fucking, not the cop chick, the fucking sword loving journalist? Maybe. Is that the same actress? Probably. You can't even tell. Yeah. Neither can I, clearly. 
Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't have asked if this was the real. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> Trying to pin this on you. I don't I get it. Well, you can't you can't oh, because yeah. I'm Oh yeah. I I am much more combined I uh, can't tell. and disinterested. I can't <laughs> I can't tell, you know, even in video games yeah. where it's like four guys in the crowd at like WWE Raw. I'm just like, they all yeah. look different to me. I can't fucking, I don't know. Yeah, I know. They're flat as paper. <laughs> Ooh. Masamune, that's so definitely what, what if name. What if you're not immortal and you kill an immortal? Can you take their shit and become immortal? You're asking great questions. I don't think you. Uh, I think you could theoretically Colin. kill. Yeah, somebody. To be Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be. It's, he is Hello. a real Highlander. <laughs> Hello. No, there's, there's not any naked women here. <laughs> oh, he hung up. He's gone. Forget about it. So the movie. Oh, actually, I said this was successful. I was lying at him through my fucking teeth. Um, the budget was sixteen million. It made five point nine. <laughs> The budget was 16 mil? It debuted number seven behind Pretty in Pink, House, uh, da- uh, Down and Out in Beverly Hills, The Color Purple, Hannah and Her Sisters, and Wildcats. Oh, my God. Hey, was that two Goldie Hawn movies? Uh, yeah, I think so. She was in the house, right? Oh, there he is, Black Knight. I yeah, she played his dead. Uh, she played yeah. Richard Mole. Yeah. No, I was I was thinking that it was the the first original movie based on the Doctor Who solved weird. House MD. Yeah. Oh, uh, they're talking about the main Kurgans. See, here you go. This makes more sense. And then he's like, well, "You know what? I read wrong." Yes. I'm not that old. It's aliens. We're just aliens. <laughs> he's the strongest. So he's like the Dracula of immortals. Yes. If he wins the prize. Mortal man would suffer an eternity. Oh, my yeah. God. That's why he hired him. He's hired him? He's paying him? No, he, you know, he's taught him the thing because he's like, I'm getting old. You got to fight, buddy. Mm-hmm. Do you age as an immortal? Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. So he yeah. became an immortal. If yes. you're born an immortal, why is he that old? Well, yeah, that's a great question as well. <laughs> I'm Maybe blowing the can, lid off this shit. You, yeah, you've <laughs> torn this apart. <laughs> like, when Malcolm that? Golem, you better be thankful that you're dead because <laughs> this is... <laughs> He's coming. Golem, Globus, Probably you're reeks done. in there, eh? You're d- oh, my it God. fucking stinks. Probably okay. moldy as all hell. I was going to say, and they probably, like, legit use shit as, like, the mortar between yeah. the bricks and stuff like that. Human mortar. See? Look at him. Oh, God. You could see the look on his face. He's like, I'm going to get my dick wet. And you're like, <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He cuts off Uh-oh. her head just to be safe. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. So then he found them. The cut there? Yeah, no, it was lightning went off or something. Oh, oh I thought I, I saw like a, like a flash beyond light, though. I don't know. I Ooh, think- I like the camera thing there. Oh, yeah. shit. It's Buddy. That could be anybody. He literally just told you, now get out. Oh, there he Ooh, is. That, that's a wonderful wig. Oh, my God. He looks like the dude from uh, Rocky Ramirez. Horror Picture Show. I just finished the big number. Ah! So, so apparently that entrance, he almost like cut Sean Connery's head off, like for real. He came dangerously close to him. Beauty. And Sean Connery like marched off the set. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, fuck. You know what? It's, at least this movie does the action. Oh, fuck. We got pretty close there, bud. He can move. You're almost there. Get the rest of it. Could you imagine doing this? The So let's let's picture Henry Cavill as, uh, as Connor McCloud. Let's picture another good guy. Like, you haven't even gotten... We, we are so frightfully behind in our Game of Thrones stuff, too. Oh, my God. But, you gotta restart it. Yeah. I guess you really gotta take the whole head off. Yeah, yeah. What if it's just dangling by a thread? Still gotta keep going. But at least they've done like yeah. fighting multiple times in the movie. Yes. I can't remember what but movie I watched, fight. and it was like they only fought at the end. And I was like, this is, and I told the person, I was like, this goes against mm-hmm. all of my action movie rules. Yeah. Yeah, you 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 need them to meet up a couple times, yes. and a couple times, so that the so that your main bad guy either stakes in it. It's like, wow, he might actually met his match. Here. Exactly. Oh shit! Oh, it broke it broke his back. He lands face first in poop. The ladies poop. 
Oh, don't they do though in in the second one? Doesn't the main dude Christopher Lambert yeah. doesn't he fall down an elevator shaft and break everything and then just re pop them back into like? I don't recall if it was that one, but I I recall the scene you're talking yeah. about. But and he's like all fucked up, like yeah. I don't recall it being in the second one. Though. They I could totally like redo this movie, man. Yeah, it's got all the it's got yeah. everything you need, man. You got sword but, fights and fucking, yeah. but a little bit better fight choreography well, and course. stuff like that. And I think you could really work with it. I can't, like, you know, can you imagine like like we watched these movies as kids and it was like oh an epic fight, but being an adult and watching the movie, would yeah. you be like this is dumb as shit, or were they like? Yeah, like, or they're like, that was it. Because with the, I don't think they've really seen. I don't think there yeah. was anything to compare it to. You're no. not going to watch it and be like, man, that was no fight like in this movie. No. Well, I mean, maybe like lesser experienced people who like have never seen a swashbuckler film or right. something. That's the like, only thing I was thinking, like an old Errol Flynn movie or yeah. something, right? Like, this whole fucking place is coming He looks down. like a baby. Clancy Brown is a baby in this movie. Oh. Why did that explode? Because it's this force, man. They've got oh, tons of power. Yes, it's, it is the gathering. <laughs> the gathering. Is that like a D and D thing? Boom. No, it's just the rules of this is the gathering is like when when two of them come together, that's the energy that's occurring. Oh, I thought the, he said and that the, the quick, gathering was when they all get together to kill each well, other. They, well, they well is they're all drawn to each other all the time. That's a but, gathering, not yeah. the gathering. Yes. Oh, oh, I think he chopped his arm off. Yeah, would have been nice. Oh, give him a little slice. Cannon also loves. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to. I haven't seen. Uh, I haven't watched. Oh fuck. Mm-hmm. Oh my shit, shack. Stop, stop, you know that that's not gonna do anything. Oh fuck. Mm-hmm. He forgets the rules sometimes in the heat of battle. Yeah. He's just. <sighs> just kill me and stop breathing in my fucking ear. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Not much longer. Ooh, sounds like he's going to put her up on the pinball table. Oh, hell. Uh-oh. Oh, he definitely, that was improvised spit in your face. He's like, I always spit in the face of my enemy, <laughs> even if it's not real. You have to say that. You do oh, have to say that. so how does he return then in the second one? Do you know how he returns in the second one? Time travel. No. Clone. No. Christopher Lambert is like, it'd be nice to have him back. And they just blindly bring him back. Oh, my God. They completely ignore everything. They're just like, don't worry about it. It's Sean Connery. Yeah, yeah they... we'll have to see when it comes on. Yeah, yeah. It's... Which, okay, when we watch it again. Mm-hmm. See, so who there must be out there because I wanted to watch, like, The Birdcage, like, forever. I can't fucking mm-hmm. find it. Oh, I love The Birdcage. And I'm like, I know this guy was just thinking of it the other day. I was like, man, that movie's so fucking funny. But it's like, there must be a list of movies out there that's like, nobody owns these yet. Somebody's going to jump on that before these movies are lost forever. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, he's going to choke. He's going to be like a half skeleton. Oh, I don't want to remember the rest. (laughs) (laughs) That's like what the window looks like out out the fucking window of New York. Fuck that. I can't not see Thomas Jane now. I think I fucked this whole movie up <laughs> because <laughs> legitimately, he's like, "I'm sorry, I can't talk to you right now. I have to go shoot season I have three to be of Hung." Tom Jane. Like, yeah. What's Tom Jane been in recently? Hung. Last thing I saw was in that shit ass Predator movie. Hung. And yes, Hung. All right, we're gonna look up. We're gonna look up Tom, Tom Jane. Jane now. I'm looking up the like my Google search is out of control. Oh, right you now. Was, sorry, I was gonna say like there's a lot of canon movies where they take place like the whole thing. You know, it's like in barbarian times. Yes. So it's just like. Oh, look at that picture of him. It looks awful. Oh, yeah. I know he doesn't. He looks good. He looks like Tom Jane. He looks like the guy from Dirty Jobs. Oh, the blade is folded 200 times. Yeah. I see a lot of that. I watch a lot. Of, there's something about be, becoming like a 40-year-old and then watching Forged in Fire. It becomes the best show you've ever seen on TV. I better not ever see it then because it'll it'll get me. Uh just because you're just watching these dudes just like make like badass swords. Wait a second, knives. I need to see her with her hair doing all this and see if if this is the same chick. Yeah, <clears throat> who's that guy? I haven't looked up for my paper in three days. What the fuck's going on? Look at those old Doritos. Oh my god, no you know cheese he, flavor. They're just plain. You know who he reminds me of? I don't know the name of the actor, but he was in Cougar Town and the Drew Carey show. 
and stuff. That's who he looked like to me, and that's why I was thinking it was not John oh. Polito. You're going to have eyes in the back of your head, buddy. Yeah, People apparently. are asking about you, you know. Yeah, I get it. What am I supposed to say when they ask me shit? Huh? Yeah, I don't know. Just I Tell them you're immortal? Them. Oh, fuck. Worst event? Worst effect ever? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him now. This is him like... And what's funny, too, is, like, you keep going through time. Why do you keep ending up in all these wars? Well, like, maybe you thing. can just fuck off somewhere that's not having a war at the time. It's probably really hard. But, uh, <laughs> there's always wars yeah, breaking wars out. everywhere. But the same shit happened to Wolverine, and although they were kind of seeking it out. Yeah, he's yeah. kind of angry a lot. Yeah, there's, there's Tom Jane is in a lot of shit that we've not heard of. Of course. Like, he doesn't. He's not scared about being in a B-movie, bud. Well, I I don't know if scared of or has what no is choice. with his face? That is the face of somebody that lives in that time. What does this <laughs> make us? That's supposed to be dirt. Yes, I am. Don't be afraid. She just watched men murder everybody everywhere. Yeah, right. So one day we will be married. <laughs> you don't believe me now, huh? <laughs> to, to you. Turning 14 will take a while, but for me, it will be a blink of an eye. <laughs> yeah, 14, yeah. right? French rules. Yep. 18th century. For, oh, my God. rat tat tat mm, She's oh, dead. Wait. Way he to looked go. like he was nuzzling into her in a way that was, makes me uncomfortable. Oh, so she. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. It's a kind of magic. He reminds me of, he looked like Neil McDonough. That guy was that not ready Nazi. for that. Why is she still alive? Oh, it didn't well, go through yeah. them. I yes. thought it did. No. Well, apparently Yes, not. it did. Oh. Yeah, shoot that piece of shit, Nazi. <laughs> I want that shit. I want I that swear scene. that shot went through her. Well, it didn't show and bullet Yes, it through. did. There was a big squib on the back of her. He's like, I'm too busy living a hundred yeah. lifetimes at the same time. Yes. I'm having flashbacks and flash forwards and flash sideways all the time. <laughs> oh, my God. She's like, don't lie to me any or, or I know I know what you're going through. Oh, it's like, yeah, do you? Oh, this is the little girl. Yes. That's cool. I get it. I'm going to leave now. <laughs> Finish this movie on your own, please. <laughs> oh. I wish I had conversations like this at any point in time. Yeah. I just want to have a slow conversation where I'm just slow. Like, let's just pet each other's face. You're such, while we talk you're to such each a other. dreamer. You crazy dreamers. Yeah. Like, how long can you go before one of us goes, get your fucking hand off me right now? Oh, just stop. Never stop dreaming, you crazy but, dreamer. Uh, I can't. Uh oh, help, boom, his head blows off. I can't help but dream. I've spent 300 years of sleep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, what would that work out to be, right? Yeah. Her. Is that her or no? She's the girl from Chicago Hope and Oz. Well, she was only uh, a few episodes. Uh, 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 it must be a good one if you're... Uh... Oh, she's bugging the place with a gigantic tape recorder. Yeah, look at all the swords. <laughs> like, I don't think it's the same... I can't yeah, tell these no. fucking white chicks apart. I don't yeah. fucking know. Yeah. It's... You're wearing... There. He's like... She's like, do you have a, do you have a bug? And it's like a big... Um, Boom box? No, <laughs> I don't... Well, who would know? That's how you're listening to your tunes. Yeah. Well, but there's no tunes playing. Uh, oh come in! She has a weird nose. Oh, she does, and she's pretty. No, here it's fine, but like when she gets older, it becomes. I think she got a nose job or something to keep the youth up, because now it's pointy and up. Why? What have you seen her in? <laughs> Oz, Chicago Hope, maybe and Oz. Oz. Yeah, the 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 shows that I listed that she's in. <laughs> they wrapped up that wine, so nobody knows yeah. you're a fucking drunk and you got a VHS <laughs> of porn. It could be. Look at the other penis. one. That's totally VHS porn. Oh, was that a look like? Ooh, she's in the Scottish <laughs> dudes. See, you no know, get away follows him now that now that he's uh, been cucked by a Scottish man. Yes, he sees it everywhere. Yeah, well, he is the Scottish. Who cucked him? Show Sean Connery. He's not a Scottish man. He's Egyptian. Oh, sorry. Right, right, right. That, that, sorry. Yeah. If that accent <laughs> could not tell you enough that he's Egyptian, but he is Egyptian. <laughs> I should have known too because I literally work with a guy like straight out of Egypt. Like seriously, mm. I should have known. They yeah. sound exactly the same. I am from Egypt. <laughs> that was probably the worst Sean Connery I there ever. There he is. Like he's Knutson right now. Oh, he's definitely. Knutson. He's a fucking private dick. Same, I think that's the same car. Actually, he's on the same case. Dad, it just took him thirty years to run into the dude. Yeah. Oh man. Uh oh. I wish I could justify a trend. How did he know that his 
Just be naked underneath it. I imagine that's all the not... justification you need. There we are. There we go. Yeah, like fuck. Problem look at solved. those earrings. Those look like they're like came. Those look exactly like something that came from Gremlins too. <laughs> it's like those from the like, gift shop at yeah. Gremlins too. Yeah, I was gonna say, or like it was because you know those weird outfits they all had. The tour guys had to wear. It looks I like feel that'd be a part of like their each one would be the leg of the outfit <laughs> that like Grace Jones wore. <laughs> it would have like a like a Missy Misdemeanor Elliot jacket with those as the Grace, feet. Why was Grace Jones not one of the? Um, she should be immortal. The, the immortals, yeah. You know, it'd be really great actually if, like, you went through because there's always like there's one that you have to fight. This one. It'd be great if you had to go through a bunch, and like some of them were like really unsuspecting. Like one was like a six year old girl who was actually like nine hundred years right. old. Right, that like, would be the bummer. Like what she said, what Kristen Dunst said in that uh, vampire. Yes, that vampire film where Before she was like, Brad "Fuck, man, I'm like stuck." Like, yeah, I was like, I'm stuck in this body. Yeah. He guessed the year yeah. uh, that that uh, uh, liquor was made. He <laughs> should be like a connoisseur of whatever that mm-hmm. is. It was way too big of a gulp for a connoisseur. I fucking take back what I said. Okay. Fucking rube. <laughs> this is from 18, 1817. Exactly- okay, how do you know? <laughs> it tastes like Richard. <laughs> it says it's on the bottle. That would also be good. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You're so good. Why isn't he just a history teacher? You know what I dig too is they kind of like leveled him up to the proper like woman. Like she's not half naked and like half his age and blah, blah, blah. They look like they're the same age. Yes. Or could be. That is nice because in the the next movie, that is certainly not the case. (laughs) Because it doesn't sell. What in the fuck just happened? I don't know. He's rocking. partying outside. On your balcony. I don't work for Moran. Oh, fuck. Uh, Is she a goddamn spy for the immortals? Yeah, maybe. I'm going to chop his, his off. fucking <laughs> yeah, exactly. chop his fucking dick off. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, apparently shoot him with the 45. Ooh. Why does she want this sword? Oh. Oh. She's learning about, she's all about the metallurgy. It's hard to find a chick that's into metallurgy. Yes. That's when you're allergic to metal? Exactly. Or our uh, folded, I don't understand how that works, like folded. It's not hard, like, again, they do it on forged in fire in a few hours. Oh, well, no, like, like, that's in a few hours. That's because this is, they've learned. Yeah. Typically what you do is like so you take like multiple layers of something you like because you'll have different fold types it over of, fold it over fold it over types of steel and you pound it out so it's bigger then you fold it over and you pound it out so fold it's bigger, it over fold it over it. but you actually see a really cool pattern fold in, in the, like you can you see all these like little wavy things like when you cut like, open like a swiss roll yeah yeah exactly like when you cut oh, open a swiss roll fucking right and also a swiss roll can make the um, immortals die <gasps> it's the only thing oh there's no place for this song in this movie. Yes, there is. She's feeling it. So originally, totally it was, not the same yeah. person. I don't think. No, it's not. It's hundred percent not. Um, I was. I can't even get over it. That is just Queen in this awful movie. How much money did they make? Like, <laughs> I Cannon, told you they did. Well, they said the movie was only. Canon throws money at shit when it comes to things like this, and it's just like. I can't see I can't see anything but Vigo now. Vigo if Tom Jane played. Hey, I know Vigo. this tune. Yeah. So this was um originally Queen was only supposed to do one song for this, and then like they ended up Brian May was just like, Oh, we gotta do more and then like the when this song got written and a few other ones. <laughs> uh could you imagine Nice though? scenery though, eh? Oh, they're just leaving all. Oh no, that's where he lives there now. Now they live over yeah. there. Like what other? Like I'm, just, I'm trying to picture like <clears> just like in a fake world where another classic band decided to score a movie that was. Like I said, they, not they also did Flash other. Gordon, which was not yeah, worthy. No, but like it, it would be like um like the Rolling Stones did like Howard the Duck. <laughs> this is a good tune. Yeah, you're fucking it's ruining not, it. I'm sorry. Whenever you, whenever you let Freddie Mercury just sing, it's a good song. I know. 
What, what a fucking bummer. To? What would he be up to if he was I don't know, alive? kicking ass and being the nicest, coolest guy ever? Probably. She's like, I'm an old woman now, you never age. I really, you know what I want him to be more than anything? Just a sassy old queen. <laughs> just like. <laughs> of course he would. I want, like, I just, I want. I like, feel like he'd still be yeah. singing. Like, you know, oh, hello with. Um, look, 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 look at the yeah. makeup. Oh, my God. That's, that's her aging. <laughs> she pretty damn well. Why would you just not get an older woman? Just... She would be great. It's like she just keeps leveling up. Yeah. She gets older. He stays the same age. Nice. She's like Matthew McConaughey in that yeah. dirty movie. <laughs> oh, no. This is this will break you right here. Yeah. Like, how many of these can you go through before you get jaded and just fuck lady boys? I don't know. The older my wife gets, the more I'm trying to train her in for a younger model anyway. No, I'm kidding. I love you, baby. You don't watch this. You'll never know. You'll never know. <laughs> you I could I could admit to just straight up crimes on this show and not have to worry about her finding out. I think that at some point in time I would do, well I mean it would be cool for them to take care of you and everything but I would be like yeah. at certain some point I'd be like go oh. yeah I get you know like in Benjamin Buttons I'd be like I can't do this anymore I'm, yeah. I'm too old you're you know what I mean it's killing me. Mm -hmm. Now here's a real question: Do you think he tried biting her just to see if he could pass this along? Oh, I guarantee mainly yeah. in the titty area. Yeah, remember me on my birthday. I don't know how many centuries can go by before you forget, and then she's going to be all mad at you. Yeah. But he can make children. Oh, they can't? No. Is that, a, is that one rule that you is, do know? That is a rule. I shooting know. blanks. Well, no, some of the rules that exist, at least in the other ones, so basically, like, we've gone through the idea of the gathering and the quickening and that sort of stuff. To win the prize is to be the last person on Earth or the last immortal on Earth. The prize is, um, depending on what version of a movie you watch um it's mortality is one thing you can also hear every person's thoughts oh god and that'll like, be like a double hell yeah like, so like you, you're gonna live for eternity and during that hear everyone's yeah, thoughts and, and then you're gonna you're going to be mel gibson oh and what women god. want god that drove him crazy that's why he ended up on the highway yeah ranting about the jews <laughs> Oh, do you think he that maybe he went into that with some knowledge then because he was hearing all their thoughts? <laughs> He's like, "Oi, we control Hollywood, oi!" <laughs> oh, he's taking her to the old hill. Yeah. Oh, like condos. Yeah. That's why he was really not having kids. What are the random little like braids he put in? I know that's like the kind of thing that they had. The Highlanders did that, yeah. man. Did they really write McLeod in the sword? I don't mm -hmm, think so. Mm -hmm. well, it's also, right there. I, and it's also upside down if, like, he's holding it. I know it's for when you stab it into somebody. They can <laughs> see your name. That's it. They see your name there. Boom, McLeod stabbed me. Who's this guy? Push him in the, push him over. Uh-oh. This is Hugh McCorshy, who has been in other things that I did write his information down, <laughs> so let's go find it. Seems like it's been 100 years, 105 to be exact. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. shoot him. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. We're all immortal. <laughs> That's when you find out it's that. literally everybody in the movie is immortal. <laughs> and it's like there could be only one. And then it's just New York. They're just chopping at each other. They just need an excuse. It's New York. Yeah. So anyways, Hugh McCorshy, he was in Nightbreed. He was in. Oh, no way. Yeah, he's in Star Wars Episode One as the. Uh, it was the Captain Pan not Panaka, whatever his name is. Uh, and then he's in Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Uh, uh, the Gathering is right on this bridge in New York. Nice. Well, what do you know? What if it was at, like a pink <clears throat> berry? What if it was on ice? The musical. That would be the best thing in the world. <laughs> is they're all like slippy slipping and they're trying to chop, and then the one guy. So falls it, it back should. And it should. It should be somewhere where they don't. None of them are comfortable, <laughs> so then nobody has. Yeah. An advantage. Rollerblades, whatever. Yeah. This is Mozart. Yeah. I will be immortal forever when I chop your head off. Uh oh. Tell him I am ready. <laughs> oh my god, that's just it. practice. Yeah. <laughs> so why are you trying to kiss him on the mouth? <laughs> I 
you, you missed, missed him. him. This is, by the way, this is exactly what Hamilton is, in case you were curious. <laughs> I would do this all the time if I was immortal, though. I would literally get So why is he want to kill this guy? Like... I don't know. It's just he, he got oh no my god! He had better do the take a drink, and it comes out of all the holes that he stabbed. Oh my god! <laughs> wait, he's like, just wait, just wait before you kill me. Let me have a drink here. <laughs> oh, he called his wife a warded blow, a bloated, a bloated, bloated warthog. warthog. You are drunk. <laughs> oh, get the guns! In the Shoot back him of the, the head. That's not how you play. Is he going to kill him? Why is... Oh. He's not going to throw away his shot. Ooh. Did he shoot him in the buttock? Oh, poor bastard. He's like, somebody's dying today. <laughs> He's trying to watch the fucking news. Oh, here comes the Terminator. Yeah. Just needs the big gun. He does, like, he I feel does. like they're framing this and everything like he's the fucking Terminator. They are absolutely. He just came out from fixing his eye. Yeah. They are 100% doing like, that. Like, oh my God. The, the hallway trail scene was like 100%. Oh, look at his big slash mark on his uh, throat. It took that long and it still doesn't heal. Nice. Yeah. She said you were kind of kinky. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my Which god. Is it like a big that? old that's a sore on his mouth. Gross. That that would mean that's a really funny movie because that is like a production decision where they're sitting there. They're like, what should be special about this guy? Let's give him a big ass herp. A big on his dirty face. herp. Well, because he's supposed to be running like uh Yes. But yeah, like, like a dirty Yeah, but they gave him an earring, isn't that enough? Look at this guy. I love this guy. I feel like um, Garrett Morris would play him now. Garrett Morris. Who the fuck is this guy? Look at this guy. Who, like, because he was in but, um, uh, Two Broke Girls playing exactly this role. Look at New York. Yeah, you Have you been to New York? No. I've never really wandered around. New York, actually. Oh, a nice corner. That was a good corner. Yeah. And yeah, my sister just went to some event for Sonos or whatever, and they flew her out to New York and... No shit. Yeah. She's going to LA. I gotta get into that gig. Yeah. She's going to LA in a little bit. That's fucking wicked, yeah. man. Oh, look at this guy. He's gonna shoot his way to immortality. Well, you should try. I mean, if I had an opportunity. Ret to tet tet. Look at this guy. He what is he, freaking Michael Dudikoff? I think he knows about the it's like the actually, worst fight ever is happening like over that's there. What I'm what the, you know what this is? It's literally, if you look in the background of any fight in Braveheart, where they're <laughs> way in the back. That's the, yeah, that's the background fight. There's a great one. My favorite one is <laughs> right after the fight. There's this great like kind of hero scene with, with Mel Gibson. And he's like kind of looking around. And then the... It, like, it's not super far background, but background enough. And the two guys are literally going, huh. Huh, huh, huh. <laughs> like, it's just like you know it's the oh. oh it's the fighting equivalent of going rhubarb 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 peas and carrots oh i can squib in uh, he's like i watched you chop a guy's head off so now i can kill you you didn't even know what was going on there that is true he just needed any reason to fire his machine gun off yeah Oh, well, I just fuck. thought of a Here good idea. Go. Squib games. Squib. Ooh. Oh, that kind of fucking game, bud, huh? Uh, I didn't miss Woo. recording with you. Ooh, I think there's a little functure, funker on that one, bud. I'm not going to be happy if that's the case. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, here was my other question about mortals. When he was like right in the guy's face. Do they have to brush their teeth? Do they have to floss? Like, do their teeth just stay that nice, or there's this, does he have eight hundred million year old breath right now? I'm gonna go ahead and say that they prob some some self care is probably good, so that you maintain a um, you maintain what you got. Oh, that guy was an immortal. Yeah. Oh, I knew that. Well, he did. Oh. Say, he did say it had been over a hundred years. Oh, he he check it out, man. Did he, what did he forget the rules, bud? Like, he's just gonna shoot him with a gun, and then fucking this guy's yeah. getting a double whammy right now. Yeah. Oh, all the prostitutes are watching. Yeah, exactly. 
You can't I, pay for a prosty with uh, the gathering there, bud. Yeah. I love good. This is the quickening, not the gathering. Whatever. <laughs> oh, I saw her panties. So, so her, her panties were gathering up her butt. <laughs> oh, George. Oh, why are they driving down this neighborhood? <laughs> is that Billy? <laughs> Oh sweet! Wouldn't it be great Boom. if he wasn't like he wasn't the Kurgan that they think he is? He's just some oh. random punk like who's. Ah. What'd you do? Oh my god, my whole arm is like freaking out. Good god! Oh my god, look at all of this. this! Is like the money shot right here. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens. He's uh, glass in his yeah, mouth. This is what happens five minutes into any Ron Jeremy porno. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I got like a total cramp kink or something in my titty arm area. <laughs> Your titty arm. Oh, titty connects to the arm. Yeah, I should give you one. That. Oh my god! Oh my god! They don't deserve this. They're not immortal. Cut off all heads. What if you were had a really bad sense oh of? God. Yeah. What if you had a really bad sense of like which one? Like there was a big crowd. You're like, which one is the immortal? And you just have to start cutting off heads. Oh my god, he's later. Oh, he is. They probably were just going on like a prosty, a prosty drive just to look at the prosties. You know, they got nothing to do. <laughs> Why did he back at his own mother? She's only screaming because of the radio channel he put on. Yeah. I only like all these. Um, dad, ew, I don't does like she call her man daddy? daddy or is she yelling yeah. for her own daddy out of panic? What was the circumstances that she ended up on the hood? She, she was trying to jump for it. Yeah. He stopped. She was flying onto the hood. I feel like 10 minutes were cut out of the movie where like they just kept driving around and finally he, <laughs> he like shoved her over. <laughs> He's another one who looks like a baby. Good I know, right? Holy Except shit. This, this dude looks like yeah. he's exactly the same. He is but he, buddy there. He was born like that. <clears throat> oh, that's who he is. The guy who did the shooting. He was, I've got his, if that's Christopher Malcolm. Yeah. Christopher Malcolm. He was in Empire Strikes Back. He's the one who finds Han and Luke. <gasps> Oh, and he's like, I, he's like, I, you know, I've found them. And he's like flying around in the speeder. Um, he had a small role in Superman three and spies like us. And he's the father in Labyrinth. Oh, that's, was that is. the dude that was just trying to shoot him? Oh, they're asking him about mental health in the movie from the eighties. Yes. That is the guy who did the shooting. Oh, so when he was gathering up, whatever it was from the other dude, mm. why didn't he chop his head off? I don't know, because he's not a high. Or, oh God, it's so hard to get around that. <laughs> he's not. He's not an immortal. I thought he's take it easy, pal. Hey, oh, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get your pizza pie. You're gonna be all right, huh? You gonna get it, you gonna get it from Ray's? I don't want to hear about. After it. After you're done eating twelve apples, we'll uh we'll get you some pizza. Yes. So, but when you can't have the big apple, we give you many small apples. <laughs> I like that. Oh, here we go. Come closer. Come closer. Oh, we're never going to find out. Is he singing? And now we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why that was, yeah. <laughs> Like, what did he say that we could not have heard? He doesn't get it. Maybe he just said, like, I saw him chop his head off and then his. Fucking soul came out of his body and sucked into no, the other he guy. Was, he was, his body was too into it. He was like, yeah. he's probably singing the lyrics to the last song. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a big pretzel? Uh, I don't know. Oh. Uh. Look at this guy in the background. They like that guy is a plant if I ever saw. He knows he's in the movie. He's like, I'm now the star. <laughs> <laughs> was that guy just fucking with them, asking them what words mean what, or what yeah. the hell was happening there? Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> oh my god, these are the doors that you go through that door, you're just automatically in Queens, you go through that yeah, door. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is a sanctum. sanctum. Yeah, exactly. Man, books, wasn't that something? Yeah. Look at these fucking nerds. Hey, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll take your, see your books, and I'll raise you a card catalog <laughs> with a Dewey Decimal System. See, here you go, buddy, here's your fucking physical copies. There we go. Go are. to the fucking library and read the book Highlander. <laughs> Based on the film. Fucking cocksucker. Um, <laughs> I 
do want to point out he actually did say he very much likes our show too. I like you too, uh, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do like it. I do, and I do agree with the sentiment because so yeah, if, if things if things go out, we've been unnecessarily I hard on you. But that it's the number one way to listen to music is records. Oh, I've got tons records. Of, I got is tons the of number records. one. It just sounds the best. It sounds, you know. Yep. And I like having my DVD. The main reason I like having my DVDs and stuff is like it's good to have it because again, if it, like, it, when it shit true. goes down, you yeah. have it there to watch again. Yeah. But like, I'm if, fucked. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, if again, if yeah, if it disappears from like I will know, have Netflix or wherever it happens exactly, to me, then yeah, it's just gone, and these things will start to disappear very quickly. Where will I see but, Howard the Duck truth. then? Here Truth, on yeah. Miscast Commentary. You come here. But uh the other part of that too is that like the extras and things like that. Like that did the DVD version I have of episode one has the best uh like one of the best making of documentaries for like any movie. I love watching that one and it only exists on that DVD. So. That's fucking crazy. Somebody's gotta get on this, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, we need to start an initiative right now. We'll buy all of the movies that have not been bought and that will be yes. the streaming. Nice. That'll everything else. It'll be called everything else. <laughs> we'll dedicate it to that guy. Yeah. That it, told us about physical copies that I yelled at for no reason beep, beep. at all. Well, that's a very interesting signature thing. Look at the stash on this guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh he's got he's on to him, eh? Yeah. Uh -oh, I, she's like, like, I don't believe it. And you shouldn't because that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> she's seen it though. I know. She's but seen like, it with her own eyes. But back. the problem is, like, oh. this guy has so quickly. And, oh my God, it's this guy. It's the guy who's not Polly. Hey, you you see this guy? Everybody buy the pits free today. Find this guy. I feel, I feel like he just plays like the main mobster's uncle in most mob movies. It's like, oh. Uncle Sal's here again. <laughs> it's always Uncle Let's Sal go. or like... Your father would be spinning in his grave if he saw you were handled in his business. Uh. I feel like in the new one, mm -hmm. there should be some more sword fighting. Like oh, he should yeah. fight two guys that are together, you know, like... That's what I'm saying. It's like you got, they've got to really go kick all it out. out. Kick the, kick, yeah, get the sword and fight and do it all, ultra it high like level. Mixed martial arts, like where you have different types of sword fighting. So you have big hero swords against... like, And again, Game of Thrones did this really well. There's actually like good scenes with somebody with a big ass sword and then somebody with like a teeny little like... Right, that can still sword. kick ass, yeah. <laughs> Is there Highlander the game? Do you oh, pick yeah. your immortal... Yes. It's like, you know, like Street Fighter or some shit. They're all immortals, and at the end, you gotta, and then you gotta chop his head off. Why wouldn't oh, you fuck. just always go to a church? If they can't fight you in Hallowed Ground, just stay there. I don't like the fact that every time we see him, there isn't a guitar riff. That is true. <laughs> 100%. He should have walked in and just been like, wow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> kind of like whenever Shredder enters the room in uh -huh. Ninja Turtles. Uh -huh. Well, you know, he's got the foot back there playing yeah. his music, so he's not fucking around. No. Yeah. This is not. This is a regular. This is a different punk altogether. That'd be amazing. It's fucking Rob Halford from he Judas just Priest. Just said he's Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Only oh, when I and I remain. That's not true. What about the guy? Well, from no. Highlander all you have to ships? do. All you have to do. Look at him. <clears throat> oh, he he's been through a bit. No, that's because I burned your hair off. Yeah. He's right. I had no idea. No one ever recognized you before. Oh. Well, look what he did with his neck. He's got like oh, yeah, pins hanging off that. of them. Funny. What do you want the press? Happy out. Apparently he like <laughs> apparently he like profusely apologized to everybody. He felt very bad doing all this in a church. It is true, though. They don't. <laughs> yeah, because that was... Ramirez. <laughs> Fighting the church. Right? He's also true. Look he says he's in disguise. You I might could... as well cut the rest of that hair off, but dear yeah. God. <laughs> Uh-oh. They only allow so much, like, death rape talk in a church before they usher people out of there. Yeah. 
Uh oh. He just basically said he raped Christopher Lambert's chick, thinking uh-huh. that was the other girls. That's a very old world thing, too. How much raping did you do? Oh, she I'm was really pregnant with his baby. Yeah. Oh. Well, no, because again, he's not. Uh, Is this a sa- uh, gonna... this sanctuary? Yeah. They can't fight here? Yeah, they're not allowed. This is holy ground. Yeah. I thought it was like when they said holy ground, it was like their holy ground. No, no, no. So no. if they were in a Buddhist temple, they couldn't fight there either. Yeah, correct. Which goes under the theory. Oh, oh my God. Was it distract? Yes. Would that not be amazing if... Crossover. How fun would that be to make a movie and just have these little subtle references that were crossovers to other movies like that? It's just... Ha- you no. just so happen like you just... Not jump. subtle. Not yeah, subtle. Super, yeah. Not subtle. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Sister Act 3 in yes. brackets Highlander 5. Nice. Boom. I also want, like, like just have things. You're in a coffee shop. Your main character's in a coffee shop. And then they're like, uh, John Wick... And then John Wick gets right, comes the- up to the, it'll be like like uh like what's it called? He looks like he's like 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 he just filled in for Jason and uh, Friday the Thirteenth oh, Part Two. Totally, <laughs> like they just threw like a fucking potato sack over his head. <laughs> I thought you're not supposed to do anything. He's. I. It looked like he was just gonna start farting. <laughs> Nice. Well, yeah, it sort of was. Yeah. I just quite, said that he died. Yeah, quite literally. For, yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's what they had to do in... Uh, I, that priest loved that. Brother. That's what they had to do in uh, Vikings. Yeah. When they would speak, after they would speak to the seer, they'd have to lick his hand. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to show your you. titties off in there. <laughs> <clears throat> Ooh. Not a fan of that because he has not acted like that once during this entire I know, now he's suddenly being all like... Now he's in the Cobra Kai. Yeah, like... Was he regrowing his hair there or was like he was like these people Uh, that just can't get over it? He was like, I got hair. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like, would you really keep that? I mean, come on. Uh Uh-oh. Wait a minute. He literally told you a million times to stop following him. Yeah. And now you're like being mad at him as if he told you a lie and you figured the truth out. Yes. Well, in fairness, he did. Yeah, but I mean, fuck that is old lady. Yeah, yeah, right. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to smell my dick? <laughs> I can smell it did already. Did you ever hear that song? <laughs> smell my dick? Yeah, it was a girl. It was a, a Christine Aguilera <laughs> tune. If only. No, it was a terrible, <laughs> it was a terrible singer, but like the basic idea was like, yeah, I think you've been out cheating. Let me smell your dick. Cause oh. I'll know whether or not you've been cheating. She on knows that she's so bendable. She knows the smell of her own pussy. Well, no, but she'll know if somebody else is like, if she smells pussy on, on him, then she knows he's been out getting some. I feel that if you were going to be that, uh, um, insecure, yep. you know, when they say like, if you want to find something, you will. Yes. Like, I feel that you could do anything. You could have been like at the gym and they will, they'll smell your dick and be like, yeah, that's another woman's vag. Yeah. Like if they're going to go so far as to smell it, I think they're going to say that they smell something there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I have a weird uh, condition I had to tell Carrie about where I actually, <laughs> my butt, when, when I go out to uh, go for a jog, I end up smelling like a woman, uh, like a different woman, and I'll have hickeys that will grow on my neck and all kinds of weird shit. Marks oh my God. and stuff. Yeah, it's weird. Mark of yeah. the Beast? Yeah, I'm still into hickeys. Oh, kind of like, oh, 1518. Glenn Finnan. We could have gotten rid of all that shit. And he could have said all that right here. Yeah. Yeah. This movie could have been 35 like minutes. She, she could have, he could have like, instead of seeing the old stuff, he could have just, she could have found his room here. And yeah. then we have a quick flashback. Yeah. This is basically training. This is basically finding the bat cave in the, yes. in the first Batman movie. I do like he can sit at anywhere cause it's a circle and then, uh, you know, admire something while sitting. Did Anywhere in the room, him or he, he stab stabbed him? himself I to show so, her. But then it was just like the way he dropped it. I was like, "Did he?" It's like the best acting that's happened in this entire film. He's soulless. He has nothing behind those eyes. 
He could just be. <laughs> he could just be Michael He's Myers without a soul. Like there's <laughs> nothing is stopping him from being Michael Myers, and then like people could say, "What's behind?" I that forgot mask? until you said it that he was in Tarzan. Yeah, totally forgot. Yeah, well, that's an older. He one. does not have Tarzan's body. That was like if yeah, Tarzan man. was not like you know. Well, that was like um, a real guy out there starving, not some cartoon guy yeah. with big rib muscles. That's like what's his face, Skarsgård there, Skarsgård, whoever. Um, when he played, he played Tarzan as like that guy, like he was ripped. Titty. Oh, hi. side titty. She likes older men, I guess. Yeah. Oh, let's see a little. Oh, is that his bum? No, no, that's definitely. That's, that's her hairy leg there on the bottom. <laughs> I want to go back and see. Oh, ooh. I, I, I was watching a hang bang there. I, I was watching a podcast covering uh, Time Cop, and they're convinced <laughs> that they're they're convinced that <laughs> they see his asshole in the movie. And I was like, okay, we have to find that. We have to figure this out. I love that was the best part in JCVD. Mm-hmm. Was like he all the John Claude also played this poor asshole that got fucked over. But his favorite movie was Time Cop. And you figure out in the movie that it is it really exists and he really is a time cop. Nice. Like, it is amazing. It was like the only thing that Amazon, oh my God, this guy's hanging around the schoolyard. Well, at least this time he's not just crouching in a corner that they walk up to. <laughs> or it's like, oh, it's the same, almost the same. It's amazing because it's like the same mentality in watching wrestling on TV. Yeah. Where suddenly somebody comes into the frame like, oh my God. It's like, you watched him come down the aisle. Yes. And now he's just emerged out of nowhere because yeah. the camera didn't turn that well, way. Well, even if it's a behind the scenes thing, they're talking about somebody and then all of a sudden they're right there. I'm like, this is a wide open space. You would have seen him <laughs> yeah, coming from exactly hundreds of feet away. Yes. Like before you had the conversation, you'd have seen him coming towards you. See, he, he, I feel like he was like this before. Yeah. Maybe the bird. What happened? Why is he lost his hair again? I'm stressed. Uh. You, like just the stress of getting those like clips in. That was actually something I noticed. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, you can see that coming. Yeah, that was something I noticed with um, when I was watching Jackass four point five though, because they were kind of talking about the shooting and stuff. And when they decided they wanted to shoot again, they did some test shot shooting, and Johnny Knoxville had nice brown hair still. Then COVID happened, and they had to stop everything, and he came back with white hair. Like he's just he's just like super gray hair now. Just fast too. Yeah, and it was in a very short period of time, but that happens though. Sometimes like like that amount of stress can equate to a trauma, and then that sort of thing just happens. Oh, well, they always do that. In the, that only happens in the fucking movies. Have you ever met anybody in your life that went through a traumatic event and then their hair turned white because of it? Um. Yeah, there was a, a song about them. It was like his hair. Had turned from black into bright white. <laughs> Great second written. couldn't written. quite explain it. He always just be there. You, you get it. Like, mm-hmm. See, you agree. Mm-hmm. I missed them. They should come hot, back. Hot take. Peter Pumpkinhead's a better song than that song. Oh, my God. How dare you? Yeah, baby. Oh, he's hitting people. You should see the shots when he was hitting people. Oh, my God. It was amazing. Yeah. Oh. See? That's an old car, buddy. That's when they really made cars. These people are completely fine. <laughs> Once they're done smashing into each other, they just drive on like nothing well, no, happened. But the problem, it's it's one or the other, actually. It's they're completely fine because their car's so strong or because their car has no give. Their body shook to death right. inside them. Like. It's like they're all of their innards exploded because of the sheer force. Oh my god! This, I just feel like this is just the tur- right out of the Terminator man. Yeah. Now he's just terrorizing this woman. Like he just learned how to drive, and now he's like really into fucking around. See again, he's just did like it, it's fine that he wasn't acting like this in like the the. Uh, um, flashbacks and stuff like that, but like he just in the last two scenes, he yes. started acting like this. In this Ever movie. since he got his new necklace, yeah, he's changed, man. What was even that? <laughs> like, like, I said, like, wait till you see the ninety percent of the uh, closed <laughs> captions have been something in music. Yes, it's been noise and music, this and music. That was just screaming and music. Silver Cup. Oh, that's Studios. where the big ending is in the old Did Silver Cup Studios. <clears throat> yeah. She fainted. They just been driving along that long that she's tuckered out. Yeah, yeah it's no longer scary. Yeah. She actually has become bored and has fallen asleep. 
He needs to do something cool like smash into something and go flying out the window. Yeah. And then get up. That's laugh. all I want is I want them to take advantage like um, Groundhog Day style. They should be dying on the regular, you know? Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> the legs. Are the you legs. supposed to answer? Like, it's not live. <laughs> Betty White, that? what are you doing? Oh my god, no way, that looks like uh, the, Tippy Hedren. Yeah. Tippy! That's his, that's the little girl. The little girl he was on top of her. Imagine he's just like, let's go, let's be back to our old days. No, it wasn't, he was on top of the other chick. He was on top of the little girl. Oh, when he got shot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You said it was inappropriate. It was inappropriate. So that's because your mind went there. Nobody else did. Yeah, they did. That's I know. He true. was. Yes, they yes, did. <laughs> yeah. He was wiggling on her, and it was gross. Oh. Sweet Rachel, let me lay on top of you one last time. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to shoot me in the back. Oh, fuck. Here oh, no. it is. A final showdown. Well, who do you become next? Next, they become green screen all <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't have to do anything next. It's like nobody even gave a shit about him. Why does he even fake his own death, for fuck's sake? Oh, my God. He had to say that. I know he said oh it earlier. Oh, my and I God. Put together tell just right there. Did he it's say it before? Me- yeah, because when... Oh, that's it. When, she, when he was on top of her, she's like, you're not dead. And he goes, "How? but how? And he's like, it's a kind of magic. Oh, oh, I guess after he kills Buddy, he's going to fuck it's off. kind of magic. Uh, I mean, you're going to say, like, play it, right? Like, what the fuck? Cons- Maybe that's going to be end credit song, guaranteed. Yeah. Considering that there is, you know, an event in this movie called The Quickening, this is a long movie. This? Yes. That's the type of porn I like to watch, though. Yes. Two-minute clips. He's blowing it. I've blown it. We're all happy. <laughs> Everybody goes home happy. Yeah. Oh, I love that she's hanging up there like uh No twin tower shots in this. They couldn't afford it. Yeah. Well they got the Empire State Building. Well, exactly. You get one or the other mega. Oh, fair, fair, fair. Globus was not sure. He really just for- carries the sword. He doesn't even have like a thing. No. One it seems like a novice move, bud. Yeah, yeah. He looks like he just like like Chuck Norris. He looks like Chuck Norris shows up at like a signing. He's got the je- jeans on, the brown, yeah. leather-looking jacket. Yeah. I was just talking about Chuck Norris, actually. We were talking about, um, I was like, it's very funny to have somebody who's a renowned martial artist and then put a machine gun in his hand in every movie he was ever in. <laughs> yeah. And of course I was like, he was coming down, what you think? And I was like, the only thing I could think is like, because he may have been, you know, like a good martial artist, but he wasn't like a very showy one. Right. And I think well, he was very good. He was in Bruce Lee movie. Yeah, he was in a Bruce Lee movie. So you but know I, that he didn't but he also him. won championships yes. and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. But I'm thinking like he probably like he just wasn't very flashy like for movies. So they were just like, we're not putting you like as oh, the my God. sole martial artist in this move in a movie. Um, like when you've been in like Bruce Lee shit where he's very showy and very Right. <laughs> so it was like you like Also he probably just- was oh my god, look at that. Look at that. You see the stunt guy? Was that just beauty? A, like, was that a Goonie? That was I a, believe it was. The, I'm pretty sure that was Sean Astin. Could you imagine this scene? Like now, they'd be flipping everywhere and flying. It would be like Shang Chi. Yes, Shang Shang Chi. Shang Chi. Shang Chi. Oh, this guy's just Shang. losing it. He's just having fun. He's just yeah. having fun. He's going with it. Yeah, exactly. He's what I do in Fortnite. It's like because if you break all the bottom things, it's then the whole, down. Exactly. the whole thing comes down, yeah. and you get all the loot that's all the way up the building. Oh well, shit. First comes the E. Ooh, oh, it's oh, a, oh, you don't know. It's, it's to force him into a, a situation because he's like, if I start losing at any time, she'll fall and distract him yeah. from me. Get my shit together. Oh, my God, look at the wig on him. Oh, or the, like the... That was so <laughs> that was so not his face to a point of like disgusting. <laughs> it was like face off. Like, look at that's like so not him. It looked like D. Snyder. That was the best part of face off is all those shots of the stunt guy. Clearly not them. Yes. Oh my god! I want to take his face. <laughs> oh, Nick looks oh, like a cage. Oh. Wow! I wish we had one usable podcast. <laughs> part. Like this whole one take thing, it fucking really wrecks the show. You have to take... <laughs> uh, this is the guy I'm going for his Comic Con now. Fuck it. Nice. I... Are you even going to Comic Con this nah. year? Nah. 
No. Oh, yeah, you won't be. Yeah, My dude's not there, there anyways. Who's your dude? Oh, yeah. The, the devil's latex. Yeah. yeah, I noticed they weren't there. Uh, my daughter is coming with me for the first time. Oh, sweet. And she's getting the autograph of the guy who's the voice of uh, Ghostface and Nick Castle. Those are the two people she wants that's to That's hilarious. She's so into horror right now. Good. That's cool. And so she's like, Scream is like essentially her favorite. And she also really likes Halloween. And I said, I was like, oh, Nick Castle's there. And she's like, "Which who's Nick Castle again? And she thought he was the Michael Myers just from like the new ones. Right. Like, no, he's the original. He's in the like. The first the, movie, the new Halloween one, or the like, the first of this new trilogy. But he's the original Mike Myers, Michael Myers, not Mike Myers. Um, and she's like, oh, "I want to meet him." I'm like, "Okay, that's cool." Yeah, there's some pretty cool people there. Brad Dourif's there. He totally looks just like from the back when like Jason jumps out of the water. Totally. Yeah, he's got like the little divots in his head and. I love this stunt guy so much. Oh, my God. Oh, God. It's that? so, like, next level. Oh, shit. Then they fill you. Oh. Yay. Oh, my God. What a, look at that. Shot. So, apparently, nice gravity, landing, doesn't, nice landing. gravity doesn't affect them the same well, way. Well, they've been stabbed a lot. Yeah, but I'm just thinking, like, you still wouldn't fall. Yeah, the air would cast through all your stab speed. holes, and you'd slow down like a wiffle ball. Ooh. <laughs> and that's why they were like wiggling around. I am hearing weird noises. From your animals. <laughs> Bless you. No, it's stuff from outside. I like that it was a multi level fight, like in a good yeah. video game where it's, they smash through the top and. Yeah. I saw a really funny meme today on um, Twitter. It was when um, you cheated. But um, it was when Obi-Wan says to the uh, Emperor, well, at the time, just the uh, the Chancellor, he's like, don't worry, he's like, Sith Lords are a speciality. And then it's just time after time when he got his ass beaten by a Sith Lord. Right. What took you so long, eh? Yeah, because literally every time, other, other than Anakin, every time he fights a Sith Lord, it's, he gets beat up like... Twice by Dooku, then by... Um, that's how you learn, bud. That's how you learn. Yeah. That's true. Why do we fall down so we can get back up again? Exactly. Like, Unless where you can. is this even? They just broke through. The, it's his loft. It was moving. They moved the furniture out. This is better than any other fight they've had. Oh, totally. Because because well, this whole fight them. scene has been a good one, though. Yeah, because it's clearly not them, finally. I think it's Bill Pullman from Spaceballs. <laughs> <laughs> that is totally what he looks like. I said he looks like Chuck Norris showing up thing, but he is totally Bill Pullman from Spaceballs. <laughs> Not a bad little scene, though, at the end, though. No, I don't mind. Crash through the thing, the sign falls down, like... Who would it be? <clears throat> that would look oh. like the worst way to come at anybody ever. Yeah. Oh. Rip his guts out. Listen to the heroic music happening. I want to just... I want to do one of these, like, sword movies Whoa. just so... Just so I can, like, spin, do that, like, spin thing. Whoa. So with his eyes. Well, he knows what's happening. <laughs> his eyes know what's up. Is that his true alien form coming out? Yes, his zeisness. Oh, my God. Like, he's uh, getting off on it. He's into it. He's like, all right, all right. The stakes have never been higher. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is that it? Is his head yeah. flying off? As long as it stays all as long as he stays it keeps it balanced. Hold on to it. Keep it on. Yeah. <clears throat> it pours out of him like that? Like he's a soda fountain? I guess we didn't watch it fall right off. Wait, no, you don't. Because like I said, if there was even remember I said, even if what if it was hanging? It's not hanging, it's off. Well, this guy had a big old yeah. reckoning well, or whatever. Well, because he collected a lot more people. Whoa. How could there even be a sequel? He killed the last one. Exactly. But it's the last one who's currently on Earth. Well, do you have to... S oh, yeah. Oh. Was that just the glass hitting him in the back that made him react like that? I don't know. Noise. <laughs> Just anything. It really yeah. shit the bed on the, yeah, the on the, uh, the, the yeah. Like, wow. Here. 
Doesn't even say like electricity swir- swirling. Like, come on, anything. Like, do you get something I would have liked from this is that you get the abilities like a la uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh my god! The quickening overpowers me. Oh shit! Oh my god! This these are Ghostbusters. Ghosts. Whoa! I know everything. I am everything. It's too much. So he's received the he's receiving the prize right now. Oh, oh, it's oh, the string. God, see the string. I still see it. It's still there. That oh, big time! Look, look at it. Wow, they didn't even try. Well, what were he they going to do? There wasn't flippies. like. Oh my god! He's got his drive. I love on. that he has. He still, while that's happening, can say exactly what is happening to him in yes. that moment. Yes. The quickening is too much for me. I feel a mild malaise. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A dude, you yeah. did it. Now he looks like Bronson Pinchot. Ew, uh, you dirty. Go take a shower and then we'll we'll have a conversation. <laughs> Ooh, I like the plaid with leather. Oh, he took her home. Mm-hmm. And his first wife okay, still lit. Oh my god, the they drove a jet there. It's like a whirlwind in my head. There you go. I know what people are thinking all over the world. Nice. Oh. So he has a control. Other than the fact that I'm immortal, uh, can yeah. listen to yeah. Well, he's not immortal anymore. He say he even said I can thou I can have children and grow old. Uh oh. Ah. Uh. Whoa. Nice. I think I think I I could be a good immortal. Maybe the worst. Yeah, it'd be really. I would, I, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Would, Holy fuck! <laughs> I, I I think I would actually live out entire lives just in my house, not doing anything, <laughs> just schlopping around. Yeah. What'd you do for the last two centuries? Eh, I just schlopped. Yeah, you know, I, I really got caught my, up on my daytime yeah, TV. Yeah, I really got my stream followers up. <laughs> Five. It's like I got like thirty now. It's like how long does it take you? Twenty years. <laughs> It was like just nonstop. Wow. I had one stream straight for 20 years. I'm so glad. You know what? See, now this is the problem with this movie where they could have left it open. Yes. But that was like such a clear cut ending. And then like, you know what? Five five people like this more than we thought was going to. Yeah. Sequel time. It lost almost 10. Well, it lost over $10 million. And they're like, this scream sequel. And they're like, well, you know what we should do? Undo as much of the sequel as we possibly or the, the original as we could. Ugh. What should be? There you go. You didn't sing it. I napped for like the whole day. I'm doing pretty well, actually. Nice. I have to be up soon. Oh, gross. So no, I'm I'm off to work tomorrow, but I gotta be up with the kids. Is that a dog dreaming over there? What is that? I don't know. Here? Yeah. Is that my bowels? It's probably your bowels. Oh, man. Yeah, the waiting seems like eternity to get that right. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to just kind of do our goodbyes as this thing is slowly finishing up. Um, Thank you, as always, for watching. Make sure that uh, you like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Uh, If you enjoyed it, if you're watching on YouTube, that is. Otherwise, come and check it out on YouTube and do those things. And uh, rate and review wherever you're listening, if you're doing the listening version. To the person who told us to uh, get uh, hard copies of things, we do agree with you. We're just fucking around. We like you. Um, My rage issues. Yeah, we do have to get... We, we do have to get, you know, our it stuff It is out. true, though. I'm By telling you right way, now, with the, honestly, like everything that I live for, I should have the hard copies. Speaking of which, I'm going to put it up right here, the picture of our uh, our latest shirt, which I promised to make for ages. But it is oh, yeah. uh, it is the the ultimate YouTube comment that we received when mm-hmm. we did our Raiders of the Lost Ark movie. Oh, God, uh, I yes. I highly suggest you grab that one. Uh, keep an eye out on our Twitter. That's the best one. Like that for when there's sales. Um, 
Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I'm actually going to grab that guy's name is almost Darian Lake. Oh, wow. Damian Leak. (laughs) It's close. Uh, Right? Frank Dukes. (gasps) Old man in car. Is it the Frank Duke? Let's, I don't know. Let's go down. Let's go down a rabbit hole. But let's see if I can find out before this is over. All right. S O M G B. Xander. Oh, it is. It's a kind of magic. No, that wasn't written for this, was it? No, I don't think that specific one was. But who knows? Maybe it was. I don't. I can't tell you enough about. Where the hell is all the information on this? <laughs> it's all air, man. It's all. Woo! It's good stuff. Better up than in, they say. No, it's not true. Ask is Frank Dukes in Highlander? Boom. No, because they'll say yes because there's a person named Frank Dukes in Highlander. Oh, oh true, true, himself. right? Yeah. <laughs> there's Sam Fatu was the other yeah. wrestler. Greg Gagne, Jim McLeod, Buddy Roberts. And... I'm going to go with yes. And the credits are over. Well, we didn't do it. We'll never know. because <laughs> I I had. I... But look who came. Look what's on the bottom. Bloodsport. Oh, Frank. Frank Dukes. Whoa. Legitimately underneath one of the suggested movies is, is, is Bloodsport. Bloodsport. Starring Frank Dukes. Isn't that a weird Swamp. fucking coincidence? That is a weird coincidence. I feel like that is really Frank Dukes then. Yes. But why is Johnny Mnemonic first? Oh, come on. <laughs> because Frank Dukes. Yeah. All right. Um, thank you guys all so much. I uh, Tune in next week for a coming attractions episode. Hopefully we'll still be together. Is uh, it? No guarantees. We'll see. Come on. No guarantees in life. No, we're trying to, uh, we're trying a real John and Paul thing after we saw the, after we saw the uh, get back documentary exactly uh all right well until next week guys we'll see you later bye bye now